Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. It is Friday, March 15th, 2024, and we are live at the high. All right. We made it another week. It is hive day, baby. Are you smelling what I'm stepping in? Are you smelling what the bees <laughs> is cooking? <laughs> I am hyped up and very excited. It's going to be another very exciting live stream, or as we call it, the hive stream. Live at the hive, baby. We're going to talk about spring knives of 2024. What's the best knives out right now? What's the knives everyone's wanting to get? You know, the newest, coolest thing. The thing all the cool kids are getting, right? I want to give a big shout out to all of our veterans, past, present, and future, and our law enforcement out there, and all the first responders, all our truckers, all the people out there that are working the trades. I appreciate you very much, and a big shout out to all of the moderators, to Bees Blades, to make this hive stream work like it should. <laughs> keep out the dumbness, keep in the coolness. We don't talk about politics or religion or anything controversial. We just talk about knives and everyday carry gear and all the cool stuff, the stuff we're playing with. Sometimes we even throw in fidgets or things like a Rubik's Cube apparently now since I learned how to finally do it. But this is a time to kick back, sharpen your knives. Maybe you're fooling around in the garage, working on something, working on a project. Who knows? This is the place to be. Why? Because this is where everyone hangs out. And if you have questions about knives, this is the place to get your answers. If I don't have it, which there's a very good probability that that's the case, there will be someone in here because before too long, there's usually two, 300 people in here with so many years. It would be interesting to add up the years of knife knowledge. Hundreds and hundreds of years worth of knife knowledge are in this live stream every Friday and you will get a good answer. If not, you'll get pointed in the right direction. A big shout out to all the channel members, all the bees bladers. You're freaking awesome. And everyone that watches my videos and you watch them all the way through, not just two minutes. That's always appreciated. You, you give your support. You all supporting the channel is what makes me keep going and pushing baby. Now, so if I could look over here and say hi to everyone. What's up, Top Dog 8762 and Thomas McDonald, Aries EDC. What's up, Aries? David Tooley, Christopher Wheeling, Marco, Joe Casper, Gregory Witt, Angelo, and Betty Davis. What's up, Betty? I saw you on the hive stream on my OCD for EDC. What's up, Michael Warren and Sonny Robinson and T Fetch? And you know I'll, I read what I see. So, so <laughs> don't worry about it. I'll, I'll repeat myself. Steve Cast. Casteller, Castellarin, Castellarin. What's happening, brother? Horsehead bookends. You know, I have a perfect mental picture every time I hear horse in, horsehead bookends of some books with two bookends that are horseheads. Chris Hole's been a member for 22 months with the first super chat. Chris, member for 22 months. That's that's a double deuce, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You want to hear ever ever crack open a double deuce? I know I used to in my younger days. Ah, too many double deuces. I've had all the double 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 deuces that I'll ever need. What's up, Brian Kerr, Emily Brimmer? This is pretty cool. Everyone is filing in. This is very, very awesome. I have a bunch of really cool knives and everyday carry gear on the table tonight. And, oh, oh, wait a minute. Let's see. I had a video drop. Shoot. Not even an hour ago. 45 minutes ago. A new Bees Blades video. If you ever go watch it, you know what to do. If you're a Bees Blader, show your support. Go let that run in another window. You know what I mean? Now I'm saying. What's up, Jake Anderson? What's up, Knives Are Life? Robert Feely, dude, how are you doing, man? It is so good to see the knife family. There you go. Top Dog just put up a link right there. And, you know, I made a little adjustment to, to my camera, and I think I'm liking it. It seems to be working a little better. Uh, well, we'll see how that works. Dwayne K said, I'll be right back. He's going to watch the video. Tim Tite saw it. He watched the video. Hey, Josh Branson's son turned 12 today. Hey, Caden. Caden, happy birthday, man. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. 12, holy. Hey, don't tell your pops, but next year, you're going to be a teenager. Oh, my goodness. You're going to be 13, bro. D. Edelman, Mr. Edelman said, howdy, bees, and everybody else. What's up, Derek For real? He said, put it in another window and let it run. That's what I'm talking about. What's up? Let's see. Silvano, he said, hi, guys. Um, new here from Belgium. Greetings from Belgium. Hey. Dude, you don't know how awesome that is. It is so cool. We have people from all around the planet 
come and hang out at the live stream. We have Belgium in the hive tonight. That is so very cool. Dude, you get a free. <laughs> that is awesome. I love hearing that. Top Dog said, visual is clear and crisp. Hey, I didn't know you have a beard, bees, blades. <laughs> yeah. And welcome all you newcomers to the channel and newbies. First, hey, every single week we have new people come and hang out at the hive stream and they realize that, oh, okay. It's just, just like I suspected it might be. We are not, I don't take myself seriously. You know, some of the folks in comments of videos, you know, they get all serious about, well, <laughs> I'm not worried about all that. I'm having fun. Okay. Um, whether the, the blade steel is a half a percentage up or down in hardness doesn't make me lose sleep at night. I'm about having fun and enjoying this and enjoying all of you. And this is my time to interact with all of you. I don't, I don't often hardly ever get to interact in the comments. I do get to see them, but I don't get to interact because if I did, it would take hours upon hours upon hours and then I wouldn't sleep and then I would go crazy. <laughs> so this is my chance. What's up, Angelo? And listen, if you guys want an extra special giveaway, this is something we do, especially all you newbies. Everyone else that's, that's always here, they know this already. I'm repeating myself, but you know, it's kind of like that show that you like. You kind of like that, you know, like Family Guy. Da, 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 da. You know, you like the song. Well, this is kind of the same thing. You're used to hearing it, right? Um, we we do giveaways on, on the live stream, and it's just it's just a little added fun thing. It's not the purpose of the live stream, but it's it's definitely a perk. And I have, oh my goodness, uh, we have an anonymous donator that donated a knife. And by the way, the giveaways. It's UB's bladers sending things in for giveaways. That is something that fuels the extra giveaways, and it's very much appreciated. My mailing address is in the description of this live stream and every video that I produce, every video that puts out there. If you go into the description and you scroll down past all the links, you'll see my mailing address and you can send something to give away. And Mr. David Coolis with the first 10 doll hairs of the night with a super chat. David Coolis with the 10 doll hairs for shipping. Thank you very much, David, because we do a lot of shipping. Hey, every single giveaway knife is shipped out. The giveaway table is empty. They're gone. They're, the, everyone probably has them by now. I would hope you would have them by now. Everybody that won last week, hey, Terry T-Rex, he said, we don't want any giveaway. <laughs> I see that smile. Depends on what I'm giving. What, hey, Terry, what if I'm giving away a new Medford? I mean, would you be interested in a giveaway then? Or what if I was giving away a sheer Gorov or, you know, something like that? Would you be like, eh, okay, I'll enter. I mean, you know, it's possible. What's up, Francie? Yep, you got that right. Warming up the hive. Warming up the honey. Thank you very much, David Coolis. And there was something earlier. Uh, let me go back here and find this real quick. Real quick, like, are y'all feeling goofy? Are you feeling relaxed? Are you starting to let the problems of the week and the problems of your day melt away and just chill and know you're at the high with all your friends, people you haven't seen in a week or people you've seen in the chats? I know there's different live streams you all go to and you get to see each other. Um, I usually, y'all ought to come join me. Um, OCD for EDC on, on Sunday nights. That is the hive stream, hive stream. That is the live stream that I usually get to watch. Most of the time that just happens to be the perfect timing when I'm able to watch. Fook Doosley has been a member for 11 months with a super chat. He said only one month to go, baby. Almost one solid year. Fook, Fook. Dude, that is pretty dang cool. Thank you for supporting the channel. And hey, all you channel members and all you folks that are thinking about being a channel member, now's a good time because it is spring and it is time for a big channel member giveaway. That's separate than the giveaways we do here on the live stream. So uh, just put a little, little bug in your ear. Silvano, Silvano said, giving away a Herman will attract people. Yeah, I, I bet it would. <laughs> I bet it would. You got that right. Joseph Skate said, what's up, everybody? What's up, Joseph? And thank you very much, David Coolis, for the $10 here to help out with shipping. And, ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, so, like I said, you all fuel the giveaways, right? I have here something that was sent to the channel by a bees blader. They, was, they said, hey, I don't want to be named. I just want to be anonymous. And they sent in this. This might be in tonight's giveaway or it might be in the next giveaway. But that's the kind of love that we get from 
other channel channel lovers, uh, Bees Blades lovers. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, do I have some exciting, exciting, oh my goodness. And you know, I have a giant giveaway over here. And I'm going to just, I don't know when I'm going to give it away. It's going to depend on the night, how hyped up we are, how many likes we get, that kind of thing. Chris Hole, hold the bus with the $5 hair super chat. He said, I got my package. I love it. Thank you, Bees and Top Dog. Dude, there you go. Hey, anybody that won, uh, you know, uh, here, when, when we get a couple hundred people in here, uh, say in about an hour, somebody remind me, and I want to kind of do a, uh, not a pocket check, but a giveaway check and see who all has won a knife or what knife they won from the channel. That's just, it's just so exciting. I just imagine when... Like, like Chris, when he opened his box and he's, Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. There's candy, there's stickers. It's just, you feel like a kid again. You don't have to, you don't have to be a kid. I mean, you could be 75, 80, 90 years old and you open up a box and it can have a D2 knife where it can have a, a goofy knife in it. And you're just, you, you're, it's just so much fun. It is fun to open up something. It is fun to get a gift. For some folks, it's an addition to their collection. For some folks, it's the nicest now, the nicest knife they own. All of this goes through my head when we're sending this stuff out. It's very exciting. Aries EDC said, I never win. Now, dude, that, you know what happens when people say that? Good things happen. Oh, hey, Jim Miller. Mr. Miller, sir, with the super chat. He gifted five kind of five bees blades memberships and guess who got them ron meg marco baby girl unassuming dude and pedro armstrong all got memberships by mr miller himself jim miller thank you very much mr miller dude you rock you freaking rock and, and congratulations, everyone that just became a channel member that is very very cool and as mr edelman would say ding 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 you scroll down here so I can see what you guys are saying. Robo, Robo Stevio said, I got my package today and my little dagger freak has eaten darn near every sucker you put in it. Your little dagger freak has eaten darn near every sucker you put in with it. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, those little suckers, you're like, I don't, I don't, I don't eat suckers. I'm not a, not a kid. And then you eat one. You're like, oh, that's pretty good. That's not too bad. Terry T-Rex said, I win every week when I watch the hive. Dude, you're too kind. So kind. How about that, baby girl? Jim Miller finally got you. Finally got you. Rewind said, I did some yard work today, which means I got to break out the SE 4HM. Ooh, dude, tomorrow. It's on the agenda for tomorrow. Among other things, tomorrow night is family night, game night. But tomorrow during the day, part of the agenda is, oh my gosh, I kind of almost dread it. Yeah, hey, listen. All you early, early birds that are in here right now already, when Mrs. B's comes down, you got to, you got to uh, give her encouragement to help me tomorrow because our backyard has an entire winter's worth of sticks that have fallen out of the tree and that have been drug out of the stick pile that the dogs have been chewing on for the last three months. I have to clean all that up because I have to mow. Spring has sprung here in Southwest Ohio, baby, and it is time to mow for the first time. But I can't because I have an I have a whole fire's worth of sticks, and and oh my gosh, <laughs> I need Mrs. Bees' help tomorrow. Chris Hall gifted one Bees Blades membership with a super chat. Chris, dude, who got it? Who got it? Crispy K, Crispy K was gifted a membership by Chris Hole. That's what I'm talking about. Crispy K, that sounds like a cereal. Crispy K. Thank you very much, Chris, and congratulations, Crispy K. David Jewell with the two doll hair super chat. He said, glad to see you survived the storm. Yes, some crazy storms and tornadoes came through Indiana and uh, uh, Ohio last night, yesterday, last night, and they uh, were pretty bad. Um, they skipped us and in, in my area, we got some heavy wind and rain, but we didn't get the bad stuff. So I'm very grateful for that. And my heart goes out to everyone that that affected and that is cleaning up right now here in Ohio and Indiana and, and probably across, I don't know. I don't know how, how far it started, how many States ago, but I know, uh, it was craziness. Um, our lights did not go out. I was at work when the first storm went through and, uh, wow, our lights kept, kept blinking and i was like man uh, should we uh should we go get in a tornado spot 
because we had a tornado go by a mile from where I work a few years ago, three, four years ago. And it was, it was a bad one. Derek for real said one dropped eight miles from my house up in Tiffins. Wow. What's up experience precision. How you doing, man? You having a good week? You having a good Friday? I love, I love it when all the family comes in. What's up, Tay? He said, bees, have you seen Aries EDC's latest batch of knives? The color scheme of the true blood Tobiko reminds me of your channel thing. Dude, I'm going to have to go check it out. I haven't seen it yet. I don't, I haven't got the, I don't get the opportunity to watch a whole lot of YouTube. So there's a lot of things I'm behind on and I don't know. Like I get on Instagram and try to catch up for two minutes and then, and then I have to go. <laughs> Terry T-Rex said, I grew up in Tornado Alley. Uh, Peco Tay. How am I supposed, how do I say that? I always want to say Tay or P Tay. He said he makes the most awesome small fixies. The Tobiko was a collab I designed with Aries EDC. Oh, that is very cool, dude. Experience Precision said, Bees, I'm having an amazing day. I had a great week. Thank you, dude. I love hearing that. Hey, Alice, what's up, Alice? Alicord Paracord's in the hive. Knives or Life said, BS, be shady, my guy. Be shady. What's up, B Shady? Howard K. He said, my daughter in Denver got 16 inches of snow the other day. Holy moly. Yeah, my hopes of getting any more snow are gone. <laughs> it is pretty much, I mean, I know we can get one of those weird little one-inch uh, snowfalls, but it's gone in a day. But where I, where I live, spring is sprung. The grass is green. The grass is growing. And I have to pick up sticks tomorrow so I can mow. My mower is fully charged. It has a full tank of gas. It has a sharp blade. I took care of all of that in the fall. So when this happened, then boom, it's time to mow. I'm ready to go, baby. I got that trickle charger's been on there all winter. That's what I'm talking about. You have to plan ahead. Jason, Joseph Skates, he said, I have added more to Altum Collection. Joseph with a $10 super chat. Dude, he's he's got an Altum Collection going. It's, it's going to be hard to rival. You know, now that Altum's been around a while, it, it's, it's not too bad. And did you see the Roboto 4? I don't even know if there's any left. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they're sold out. But the new Roboto 4 from Olight, and by the way, all the knives that are on the table, I have links in the description. I have 10% off. If this knife is available still, I have 10% off of it. But this is the new Roboto 4 from O-Knife, and it's S35VN. Did you hear the words that came out of my mouth? That's S35VN blade steel. This thing is slender. It's thinner. This is a this is a fantastic knife. It is a very good knife. I'm like, wow. I'm totally impressed. This is my kind of knife. This is like, this is the everyday carry. It's just, it's an EDC. You know, there's some knives I'm like, that's a cool, that's an EDC for some people. This one is, it's just that perfect. You can hand this to anyone. It's just so good. It's just so good in the hand and it's reversible. But the thing that just blows me away Let's see, where is it written? Uh, where's, uh, right here. Look at this. This is what's crazy. S CPM S35VN blade steel on an O-knife. And do you see, does anyone see O-knife branding on the blade? Can you see a big old O-knife symbol? No, you don't. That's an O-knife. I mean, are you smelling what I'm stepping in? Isn't that the coolest thing? Chance D said, I got my got my today. Pretty awesome. Uh, Mox Fox said, I want that knife so bad. Dude, this, this is one of the best just all around. One of the best ever from O-Knife. Just, just so many things about it. It's not a big bulky knife. And I, you know what? I don't even care about the Altum. It doesn't even, I don't even care. And you, you, has anyone in here died Altum scales yet? Probably not, because if you bought Altum, you wanted it for the color. But um, I bet Brian F. has. Is Brian F. in here yet? I bet he's done it. What's up, Paul Casper? Um, Top Dog just put a link right there to the O-Knife for Bot 4 I have 10% off. That's bad, boy. That's what I'm talking about. It. I mean, I'm just like, I was very impressed. I opened it up. I was like, what's this? Because, see, it's just a thinner knife. But the blade steel and the fact that it does it now, it does have O knife on the clip. I'll take it. You know, I don't mind. I would rather have it on the clip 
than a two inch long or one and a half inch long branding on the blade. Chance D said it's been in my hand for three hours now. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Robo Stevio said I'm flicking the original Roboto right now. I like I like the Roboto series. I really do. I can't remember which one it is that is my favorite. It's the crossbar lock. It's uh, oh, it's over there with my O lights at the moment. Brian F not here yet. Cannot tag him. That's all right. He'll be here. The Punisher said, "Bees, I got my buck 119 I bought from a friend of mine on Monday. Had to fix the edge a little, but other than that and cleaning it up a bit, cleaning up a little, there's nothing wrong with it. That is very, very cool. Aries EDC said, I would take Lexan over the Ultim. Oh, the Lexon scales are very cool. I, I, was, I have one knife with Lexon scales, and I'm digging it. I love it. I, I wouldn't mind some more in this. I prefer the Lexon over Altum personally, just as a preference. I It's clear. <laughs> Isn't that just the coolest thing ever? There's the Lexon scales. Here's Lexon and here's Altum. They're both, I mean, strength-wise, I don't think you're going to really be concerned either way. But I, I, if I have Altum, I like Altum when it has some milling. See how that, that uh, Lexon has some micro milling? Now, let me try to hold this still and see if I can get it up here and hold it still enough. I believe there is a little bit of texture. Seems like um, this one, no, this one's frosted. It seems like I thought that it had some tiny micro milling but maybe it's just the frosted oh, i can almost swear if i if i only had a flashlight like like the new javelot from olight hey were you guys excited that olight finally had, had a sale i mean i was like man what's going on are you gonna have any more sales um does this have I thought it had little lines. Oh, it does have little lines. They're just very difficult to see. Lexon is just Ultim that drinks water. <laughs> Michael Warren, love it. All right, let's try this. Ah, there you go. There you go. Now, now look. See, it actually has a tiny bit of micro milling. If I get the shadow on there just right. See there? See those tiny little lines? But they, that's why it feels frosted. That's why it gives it just a hair, just a little bit of texture. But did you guys see the Javelot in my video? They only had this sale for two days. Now, like the Diamond members and above, they got to be in the sale a little bit longer. But Olight had a very fast St. Patrick's Day sale. And it's not even St. Patrick's Day yet. The Javelot, which you can still get it. I have 10% off, which is still a good deal. It's probably close to what you would have got during the sale. Comes with a uh, very cool sheath. It's very nice. Yeah, the Javelot will reach out and touch someone. And the cool thing about it is I I like I like a thrower. And I also like a thrower that has some spill. Uh, that way I can tell if I'm going to step in dog poop or not. See how it has such a tight beam? But it also has spill out here. So you can tell where you're walking and you can tell that you're... <laughs> You can you can avoid stepping in, in a pile, a clap, a crap pile. But this this I mean that is a tight beam. Who it is bright. I mean that will reach out and touch someone. Seventy two bajillion candle power. Uh, Aries EDC said definitely like the clear material material better. Uh, Chance D got this one right here. He got the same color, Javelot. And this is this indicator's green, which means I'm at 60% or above of battery power. Power. Uh, Dion Brooks said, I just added the Yijo fidget to my cart. Dude, I love that fidget spinner. Um, right now it's on my work desk. <laughs> I would show it to you. Mm. David Coolis is sporting a Wii Equivoc. And he's talking about this knife right here, which I carry pretty much every day. The Wii Equivoc. This bad boy right here. It one of the things that just I love about this knife so much is how it fits my hand. It's like it, it's like I sent a mold of my hand in, and they just made it 
just so friggin' comfortable. I just love it. I love the action. I love the fit. I love the finish. I love everything about this thing. Alice, Alice, <coughs> lose my voice. Alice has been a member for 18 months with a super chat. She said, I have 17 new old stock cold steel knives on my website. Helping a friend out by selling them. There you go. Alice has some, she has 17 cold steel knives on her website. Go to, um, hey, Alice, will you please post your the link to your website? Alice is one of our wonderful, amazing moderators. Thank you very much, Alice. If you would, Alice, please post that, uh, the, your website. And if you want a wee knife, don't forget, for one thing, you get free shipping and you get 5% off because I have a discount code. So if, you, if there is a wee knife in your future, or you're thinking about this one, this one was on the channel this week, the new wee banter, Warncliffe. Look at that. I mean, just look at it. Would you, would you just look at it? Isn't that just the coolest blade ever? These, uh, these are just over a hundo. So you're going to get like, I think like, um, they're like 113. So you'll get like 11 bucks off. So it'll it'll put it down there right at the hundo mark for a Wii knife. The Wii knife, the quality you can you can tell when when you move up to Wii. Uh, Alicord said, "I just did." What's Raybo? What's up, Ray Bodie? He said, "Hey, be shady." Uh, there you go. Top Dog just put up a, a link to Blade HQ. The Punisher said, "Howard K, a buck one twenty might be in my future at some point." Craig Vincent said, "Cold Steel." Y'all's in speaking my love language. Uh, dude, I like me some cold steel. I do like me some cold steel. Um, okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, we're early. So I'm going to give my pocket check, and this is our chance. See, people, they get here late. They might miss the pocket check. But I'm going to name everybody's pocket check in a minute. Don't do it yet. And then when I say go, don't go. Just leisurely type it in. Take your time. You if you already know the spiel if you've been in here. Don't rush to put in your pocket check because I'll get behind, right? There's no rush. We're not in a hurry. We're not in a race. It's all about the mission or voyage or what do you call it? The journey. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Silvano Amonti. Welcome to Scout Bees, everybody. Welcome Silvano Amonti to Scout Bees with a super chat. How about throw up some, some channel love, all you channel members, to Silvano, our newest Scout Bees. So in my right pocket, Silvano, let me get you up here. There we go. And he's from, uh, where is it? Hungary? No. Oh, my gosh. I already got. Uh, what, what country are you in? <laughs> Remind me. Craig Vincent said, I have a silver eye and SR1C on the way. Uh, LCV Blades, Blades Edge said, this is my first Bees Live. Dude. Welcome this dude. I hope you've been here since we started. This is that this is where you hang. This is where you hang out. This is the fun stuff. We chill every week. We don't talk about politics or religion. We just keep it simple. This is the just a place to rewind, unwind, relax, play with your knives, fidget, sharpen, whatever you're doing, working in the garage. And we do it. We're gonna do a pizza check. Mrs. B's usually comes, she comes down at about 10. The dog will be down. The cat may or may not be down. It, it just gets better as the night goes on. So in my right pocket, I had a budget knife today. I mean, I had several knives in my pocket because I was off today. But I have the QSP Penguin. Wouldn't you just figure? I have the QSP Button Lock Penguin in my right pocket. So there's one. I'm going to do my pocket check first, and then we'll do all your pocket checks. And then I have uh, over here. Oh, yeah. Carried this dude. The Kubi Carve. I think it's the Carve. Oh, hey, guess what? I have a discount code to all D2 Kubi knives. And I think I put it in the description of this live stream. I have a discount code that applies to all D2 Kubi knives. Just so you know. D uh, Kubi has a new shop, a new Kubi shop. But I really, really like this knife. I like the build of it. I like how it feels in my hand. I love the blade. And Experience Precision has hit the big 2-0, baby, with a two-year super chat. He said, every Friday, the Beezes go live. It's the start of an excellent weekend. Dude, thank you very much. 
two years. Can you believe it? Congratulations on the two years, man. In my left pocket, I have a refined EP1. Uh, there's another number in there. This is the longer. They have two lengths of, of ink pens. This is refined. I have uh, 10% off them too. I have 10% off half the knives you ever pull up. This is knives and gear. But this, I carry a refined pen every day. I've really grown fond of these bad boys. I have this one and oh, the EP, what's it called? The, the long one. It's called, it's EP one something. They just dropped the black one. It's all blacked out and it's the, the full length one like this. I kind of want it. I'm waiting for like a coupon or something like a special sale or something. I'm going to get it. I want the black, the all blacked out one. Stephen Wigil, Wagel, Weigel. Stephen Weigel, welcome to Scalbees with the super chat. Stephen, welcome to Scalbees. You're getting in just in time because this spring we're going to be doing a big members giveaway. Everybody, welcome Stephen with some, uh, we call those things emojis. Refine pins. There you go. Top dog just put up the link. Refine EP1L. Thank you, Tim B. That's exactly what I was looking for. So now, I because I just got the email like today or yesterday that you can get this, a Refine EP1L. I, I guess that would be long. But you can get these. It's all blacked out. It looks pretty cool. This is my favorite one. This brushed titanium. And the uh, the refill that I have in it is a Pilot G2 refill, which are very smooth. Um, in my left pocket over here, oh, you know what? I just used my fingernail clippers. They're sitting upstairs next to the sink is my Victorinox 580. That was in my pocket all day. This is in my one of my left pockets, my cargo pockets. This old dude right here, CJRB, uh, what's this thing called? Is it the Mini Pyrite? Is that what this is? The Mini Pyrite. I know uh, Betty has one. Palmer Connolly said, I don't have a membership, so you get bootleg B emojis. Hey, I'll take them, Palmer. Everybody gets the bootleg B emojis. Thomas Wheeler said, even bees. What's up, Thomas? And I think that's most of what I uh, carry carrying at this very moment. Um, what do I have right over down here? Oh, no, I do. I did. I put it back in my pocket. My tried and true everyday carry. I carry this every single day. My Victorinox 580 fingernail clippers and scissors and all that good stuff. These are my favorite. This is my favorite little slip joint, little multi tool. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Betty Davis said, Yeah, I have one bees and I love it. See, I told you. Did you guys see this bad boy? Look at that. Um, was this the, is this the video that dropped today? <laughs> uh, I've been, I've been uh, catching up on so many videos. I think this, yeah, this is the one that dropped today. This is the new, uh, well, it's not, it's not new, new. It's new to me. The tidiest, the Kubi tidiest. And this is, uh, what do you call it? It's uh, titanium. And I think it's 14 C 28 in check it out. Look at the texture on this thing. Is that not gorgeous? I mean, would you look at it? I mean, just look at it. It's so pretty. I can't help it. So freaking good. Oh my goodness. Terry said, that's the one that dropped today. Yeah, I, th I thought it was. I mean, I just literally posted the picture of it tonight or to earlier today. Uh, experience precision said, who did the miking bees, the miking, the, do you mean the milling who did the miking? I think you mean maybe milling. This milling was done by Kubi. If that's what you're talking about. The punisher said, speaking of pins, I fixed an old chromatic pin by putting a uniball signo refill in the body. A pin tell inner gel refill will work or will work as well in it. Michael Warren said, my favorite knife in my collection. Oh, dude. It's so cool, isn't it? Yeah, the color, the milling, the pattern, how it feels in the hand. They knocked it out of the park. And this, this knife is $100. It's $100. Bucks. 
There's other companies that put out stuff that look like this with the same materials for a lot more. And I think that I think it was very good. What they did was they didn't go crazy and put like S35VN or something like that in it. Cause then it probably wouldn't have been like 130, 140, 150. I like that you get the best of both worlds. 14C is fantastic steel. And then they put it in the fancy scale. So you get the best of both worlds and made it affordable. I think that was very smart on their part. Clarence Davis said, I'm flipping the EP, EMP, EDC nimble black with mocha tie clip and a spacer. Uh, spacer hardware. Uh, hold on. I'm paying attention to what I'm doing and pivot in M390. Oh yeah. Um, oh my gosh. Since I said, we're going to do a pocket check 50, uh, MC must've let out. <laughs> uh, you could do your, you could do your, uh, Michael Warren said, I reprofiled mine to 19 degrees per side. And now she's scary sharp. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's do an open pocket check. I'm not going to be able to read them all because now uh, we've jumped up by 150, but I'll try to read a lot of them. Uh, pray uh, right now. Imagine we are in a giant gymnasium. There's a big, long length of eight, eight foot tables that are laid out in the, in the, the tablecloth is the micarta color of your choice and material of your choice. And all of these pocket checks are what people that are here right now are laying out on the table. Yeah, uh, MC's giveaway is done. That's what I figured. Emily Bremer said, We Knives Desert Dessert Series Banter, Olight Pink IT3, and a Hong Di uh, what? Hongdian M2 fountain pen with purple ink. Lord Needham said, LOL, good old B's pocket checks. Yeah, man, we used to do used to do them every night, and then, golly, we'd get all bogged down. Robert Feely's carrying a Goblin XL and a mini Beluga knife pleb. The, he has, he's a dead wrecking Ridgeback. Tim B said the Aries EDC to bike Tabico. Uh, the Asher Spiro, the Victorinox Classic SD, and an Olight I3T. Um, who was that? Oh my gosh, they're going too fast now. Top Dog has a Mangana Steel Kaimano, a Manly Wasp, and a Phoenix PD40R in V3. Brandon has a purple Essie Azula with neon green scales and Totoro lanyard bead. Nareem Salbo carried a Victorinox Rescue and his faithful I3T Zombie Green. Jim Miller with the Paper Tiger. Uh, with the Paper Tiger. <laughs> he said hello to Paper Tiger and Ken. Raybo. He's carried a beater today, an ST110. That's a great beater knife, man. Uh, Payte, Payte, did you just change your font? How did that happen? He said, as always, the Wee Snacks Mini Buster from Bees Blades. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Uh, Mr. Marine had the Allurus through night flashlight and a CJRB Pyrite. That's what I'm talking about. Sam said, hey, bees, that Kubi is amazing. Dude, I agree. Lord Needham. Oh, get, hey, slow down with the pocket checks. Just hold on. Nobody else do it so, so I can get caught up. Or otherwise, I won't get them in because they're going too fast already. Golly. Michael Upchurch said, I like the new Civivi with the giant gents. Yo Daddy's carrying a Kaiser Cormorant with OG scales. Lord Needham has the Arius, a Rosie, Gunslinger, Sharpshooter, SBD, Apex, and a Mal Malahini. Oh, Malahini. Old as gamer as it has the Miguron Moriarl crossbar and a pair of paramilitary too with jungle fat carbon. Mr. Edelman has a he has a sharp and pointy knife with red micarta. C Jiggler, uh first chat said Vostied Raccoon, Black Micarta, Crossbar Lock, and a wee baby banner and Ben's Sig Ben signature on the blade. That is very cool. Sick of Sanity had the giant mouse black micarta at Lear. Very nice. Very, very nice. Emily Brimmer with the Olight I3T. She said that is golden. Everyone should have one if they don't. Yes, it is very good. Doyle said, I can't flick it, but the bees MacGyver knife will open beer bottles. There you go. Um, I saw somebody. Oh, my gosh. It's going. Uh, Howard K had the official Boy Scout left pocket EF966 on the belt, Victorinex on the keychain, and a Kershaw in the fifth pocket, and a SIG 365 in the right. KSS is rocking a Civ EV element of Tonto tonight. Michael Warren's carrying the Tiger Stripe Tidius and Tiffany Blue Concept Main Street. Dude, that Tiger Stripe Tidius looks really cool too. Steve, he said, I got my Manix 2 Lightweight and Rex 42. Rex 42? Is it three shy of Rex 45? And his mini Pyrite and Ultim. Palmer said, I have a EP1L, a Devo Buzz with Zerkatai Backspacer and an MKM Maximo. 
Silvano's rocking a Kershaw love wire. Paper Tiger said the HF icon and its brother, the Todd Begg glimpse. Nobody listens to Eric found some lint. He's rocking some tactical pocket lint. Thank you, Jeremiah, for the reminder to blink. Thank you, channel members. When you use the blink emoji, it does literally remind me that I have to blink so my contacts won't dry out in my eyes. Palmer said, need him. How big are your pockets? Oh, dude. Uh, we, we all carry a lot of knives. Adam Welber has an S45 XM18 in full titanium. Sleazy Pancake is rocking a mini roach. And don't forget, this is a family-friendly show. We keep it nice and clean. We do have a lot of families watching, a lot of kids in here watching. And I, I don't cuss, don't talk about religion, and I don't talk about politics on this channel. So we keep it nice and family-friendly and relaxed. Will B, all he carried today was... <laughs> The Grisman Norseman, the Ferrum Forge Alluris for Ferrum Friday, Mangana's Kaimano with Purple Haze, Benchmade Rift, Kaiser Beglider XL, Axial Shift, TKL Night Stalker, CQC, Olight Baton 3, and a Karis Bolt V2. Blade Walker's talking to people, telling everybody hello. Richard Kaufman, what's up, man? He said the Metal Knife, the O-Pin Pro, and Olight Seeker 4. Ooh, yeah. Yenzer had the AD-10 with the OG Titanium Scales. Bluetooth Blade said, Bees, Bees needs blinker fluid. Yep, I got it sitting over here on the ready, man. Dwayne K said, I carry the Spider Spiderco Ambitious Blacked Out today. Baby Tedacious. Major Powell is carrying the just released NAS Lander 2 in green micarta and Moondust S35VN. He said Marta, but I think he meant micarta. Todd Carr had the Leatherman Surge, Gerber Dime, and Shard, the SD Classic, a Cold Steel AD-10, a Rake Fang P-105, a Benchmade Mini Freak 5th Pocket Knife, an Artisan Sea Snake, and a couple of O-Lights to top the cherry. Ashley said, oh, and the Mini Painted Pyrite. Oh, yes. Uh, Mrs. Bees has one of those. Steven said the Bostead Stonewatch Dachshund and a Brass O-Light Arc Fill. Dude, the Dachshund is my favorite Bostead. And I really like a lot of the boss. The Dachshund is right up there tied with the Nightshade, I guess. Aries said, all right, everyone, I got to call it a day. I carried the tip as microburst and one of my Aries EDC blooms. Everybody go check out Aries EDC. He is a knife designer and a knife YouTuber. Go check him out. Subscribe. LCV Blade said, OKC Carter Prime and QSP Parrot and a Fossil Cornograph. Chronograph. Cornograph. Experience Precision said, I'm carrying the Kaiser T1 that I won from Bees. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. The T1 is a really good knife. Uh, Rene Ramon is ca carrying the Something Obscene Nemle. The Nemle and the L.E.K. Very nice. Very, very nice. Terry T-Rex said, the Orange Aluminum Vosted Raccoon. Is that the one with the cross? I call it the crosshatch. Uh, the crosshatch design, the milling. Is that which one? Is that which one? Then I'm. That's the one I'm picturing. Palmer said, I guess I also have a Leatherman and a Hank in addition to my other pocket crap. Oh, dude, it's not pocket crap. It's pocket loveliness. Boo Fam is in the hive. Boo. What's up? Uh, Boo Fam has some uh, Ray-Bans that have cameras in them. Now, that is pretty nifty. That is very, very nifty if you ask me. Justin Ohio. What's up, Justin Ohio? He said, alive and at the hive. Richard Kaufman, how are you? Justin alive. Hopefully the uh, tornadoes skipped you, my friend. Gene Gray said, I writ dyed my raccoon orange. Bluetooth Blade said, I'm carrying a rosy XL in my phone. In your phone. Knife Wife. Army Green Olight O-Clip. Dude, the O-Clip is awesome. Mrs. B's uses that when we're walking at night, walking the dogs at night. The O-Clip, if you guys haven't got an O-Clip, it is so convenient. It is, it's just the perfect EDC. And uh, Black Sun Cut Serene, freshly honed to hair cutting sharpness, courtesy of BK. Clint said, I pre ordered the titanium pyrite. I can't wait to get it. David Mallard said, I've been switching between the Kaiser Iridium and the CJRB Echo. Echo, Echo. Knife Center exclusive. Hebes, what's up, Hebes? Hebes just gifted one Beads Blades membership with a super chat. And let's see who got it. Sean Bats. Congratulations, Sean. He was gifted a membership by Mr. Hebes himself. The one, the only, Mr. Hebes. Good fellow Hebes. Um, 
So uh, all you bladers that uh, you saw me solve a Rubik's Cube last week, I will have you know that last night I solved the Rubik's Cube in one minute. What was it? Uh, one minute and 56 seconds. Yeah, I've solved it. Now, it doesn't happen all the times. All I have to do is mess up once and I have to start over. My average is usually under three minutes now. And I've known how to solve the Rubik's Cube for a week and a half. But I also I also uh, switched each side a full flip and I realized you could make it look really cool and have just, just to have setting on your desk, just a nice, cool pattern. Kind of like it looking like that. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, if you want a speed cube, I do have a link in the description of this live stream and recent videos where you can go get a Rubik's speed cube. This one is a lot smoother than, say, the first version. Now, I tell you what I'm going to do. Um, no, if if uh, if they if it starts getting too jerky, I'll uh, reset the camera like I did a couple weeks ago. But I think we're okay for now. Kevin C says, but does your does your wife mix it up? I'm not sure what he's talking. Oh, well, I mean. I mix it up. I mix it up over, over and over. It is, it is a really cool fidget. I like it. It's satisfying. I'm glad I got it. Major Powell said, Hey bees right now I'm headed to the, the NAFS store for an after hours event to hang with Ben Peterson. Dude, tell Ben that bees said hello. Tell him that the bees family said hello. Kevin C said only counts if someone else mixes it up. Well, I don't care who mixes it up, dude. I I sit there watching TV mixing it up. It doesn't doesn't matter how it gets mixed. Once it's mixed up, it's mixed up. It doesn't matter. My brother asked me that too. He said, "Yeah, but do you mix it up a certain way?" And I was like, "No, it doesn't matter. You can make it however you want, and it's not going to change how you solve it. You you flip it a few times, and it's it's as good as mixed up as it's going to be. I still start from the same spot." I still have to start over. No matter, you mix it up like three times, like, and I have to start over. It, it doesn't help me starting in any particular way. What's up, Derek Poppenhagen? He said, hey, bees and hive. What's up, man? Pen Palmer said, tell Ben he is the reason I am broke. He is the reason I am in denies. Dude, that is very cool. LCV, or is it? <laughs> LCV Blade said, I'm going to do some wild stuff to a Gerber highbrow. What are you going to do to your Gerber highbrow? That's the question. Oh my gosh, it's all, it's, uh, I was going to say already, but it's only nine. So we're still good. It's still early. We still have plenty of time. <clears throat> Bluetooth Blade said, I'm searching for a Spyderco MT-17. I haven't even heard of that one. Um, LCV Blade said, I uh, snagged a few to try out and mod for uh, five for a five-buck box. Gerber Highbrow is a sweet one, said Sam. Gerber Highbrow. Um, I might recognize it, recognize it if I saw it, maybe. But you know what? Um... In case you didn't know, in case you're uh, you're newer, newer. Hey, what's up, EDC and Lace? She said hello, people. Sorry, I've missed the last two weeks. Yeah, we 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 had questions for our uh, our professional knife sharpener and our professional knife sharpener side. She didn't want to show up, and we were like, well, <laughs> fine. Just kidding. Todd Carr said, next step: count the number of turns it takes to solve. Bees, it's a cleaver style, said Sam. Ah, like the cleavers. Leave it to Cleaver. You, uh, were you sick, Lacey? Bluetooth Blade said MT-17, Mule Team K390. Really? The Busy Banker. What's up, Lacey? Um, all right, let's do this. Before we move any further, we're going to take a little, uh, little detour just to see what's happening. Oh, yeah, up in here. Right up over here. Let me see. Share my screen. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have it? Yeah, I haven't turned up. Turn it up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blade Binge, baby. I have a 10% discount code to Blade Binge. They are a knife dealer now. Besides the dark mode collabs, which you have right here. You have the dark mode collabs. And besides that, you could go here and search. You could buy Civivi, Olight, O-Knife. I mean, if you if you want to get 10% off of Olight and get it off Blade Binge, you can use my 10% discount code. You can go to All Knives 
and search Savivi, Kubi, uh, Kaiser. I mean, I don't know. I can't even think of all the different brands. All, all Spider Co. You can go to Blade Binge. They are now a dealer. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth? Uh, Palmer said they don't have a QC department. Gerber stinks. They don't have a quality control department. BFV Gunner said I got a couple of bug outs on Blade Binge. 10% off for any bees, beezer who buys during the live. Oh, BFV Gunner has <laughs> some... Ni okay, so he's talking about sh the marketplace. So you have two things now. This is the Blade Binge shop where you can go and buy new knives, right? You can go to, you can go right here. I'll show you this and then we'll switch over to the marketplace, which is where we usually talk about. Um, you can go in here and say, uh, I'll type in uh, Olight. And here we go. That, that's best tech. Did I spell Olight correctly? O-L-I-G-H-T. I thought for sure there were a bunch of Olights. Oh, it just automatically went to it. That's cool. Wait a minute. What is this? A camping light? An Olight Haloop? What is this? What is this? I didn't know that it, that was a thing. There's an i3e keychain light. These you get free every time they have a sale. An uh, audience cob work light. Now that ooh, I'm gonna have to tell them I want to check that one out. There's an Olight RN2000 bike light and a Gober. I love my Gobers. We, me and Mrs. B's have about six or seven or eight Gobers. We have those blanking all over us when we're walking at night. Because our neighborhood doesn't have street lights. There's there, there's the O clip right there. You can get you an O clip. You get so that's 30 bucks. So you'd get it for 27 because you get 10% off using my discount code. So look at that. 32 pages of O light stuff. O clip. Oh, they have the O clip copper. That one is very cool. I really like it. 32 pages of that stuff. But if you go to shop marketplace. This is the secondary market. This is where you can go and sell and buy knives. So this is where people have their knives for sale. Ready to binge? So you can go and search Blade Binge. <clears throat> and these are all second. Oh, there's a paramilitary to Warncliffe for 185. Look at that. That is pretty cool. And BFV Gunner, he has bug outs for sale right now on Blade Binge. He said he'll give 10% off for any bees blader that's on the live stream right now. So if you want to get a bug out for 10% off, that is very, very cool. EDC and Lace, welcome to Scout Bees. She re-upped. Lacey, welcome to Scout Bees. She's trying to make up for not being here for two weeks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, there's a Seiko 5 automatic watch. That's a pretty sharp watch. I like it. I like a watch that has the date. That way I know what day it is. And it has the day, too. There's an MKM Terzula Maximo. Uh, Lou said, greetings, bees. Wondering if you saw the new 704 Tactical Knife Collection, and if so, your opinion. All I know is what I saw in a chat room on Instagram that I guess 704, he's a firearms uh, dude, I think. And from what I understand, this is, I have no opinion on it because I don't know anything about it. I can just tell you what I saw. People were saying that he is like a, a, a pew pew reviewer and he rebranded some Civivi knives and put his name on them or something. That's, that's all I know. I'm not sure. Hadel Production, member for nine months with a super chat. Hadel. He said, bought a new Tucson TS. 429 with a titanium and red micarta handle on blade bench today. It's a beauty. The question is, did you use my link? <laughs> I, you know me, I can't help it. I got to say it. Alice is back. Can someone explain CTS steel spider co uses in some of their knives? What is it comparable to the punisher too wants to know. Is, is it like CTS? Uh, what is it called? I don't even remember. What's up, Ken Poe Fish? He said, um, may have a problem. Eight months here, may have a problem. Right pocket, Joe Jimbo 2 and a SAC Spartan. Fifth pocket, SAC SD Classic. Right rear, Griptilian. Left front, Mannix 2. Left rear pocket, Buck 721 Slimline. 
That sounds about right, dude. EDC and Lay said CTS 204P is basically M390. CTSHP, isn't it XHP? I think it's F XHP. Um, oh, yeah. Back to Blade Bridge. Let's check a couple more of these out. Don't stop believing. <laughs> I like it when people play, do plays on words. There's, ooh, a Kunwu Tao compact in LMAX. That is a good looking knife. Very, very nice. There's a Null Knives Grace. Large left hand CRK Tonto and Kosi with natural micarta scales. Chris Reeves. There's a Microtech MSI. It's a pretty nice looking knife. Fair and Forge Archbishop 3.0. CFK knives. Spider Comanix 2 for 130. There you go. Right there. No box. Near perfect condition. Second owner. Never cut or carried by me. It doesn't look like the first owner did either. So there you go. Sounds like it's pretty much a brand new Spider Comanix 2. And you can zoom in and see it's S30V. That's the real deal. 130 bucks for a Manix 2 right there. Dude, that's pretty cool. There's a McNeese. So there's some expensive ones. There's some cheaper ones in here. Here's a lot of three. Um, a bird, a bird, and a Kershaw for 75 bucks. There's a Kaiser Mini Sheepdog for $85 here. A new Devo Growler. Look at that. Devo Growler version two with the, uh, what do you call that stuff? Um, Carbon Fibre for 109 for a Devo Growler version two. That's pretty cool. That is very cool. There's a Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. Uh, Spiderco Brad. Oh, hey. You know, I kind of want a spider. I, I do want a Spiderco Bradley. I just don't know what. I haven't seen scales that speak to me. I like the looks of this blade. And I do believe that it's a hollow ground blade, which makes me like it even more. That's, uh, that's M4 blade steel. I kind of would like maybe a little more stainless. There's a Tucson TS346, night morning design. That's uh, $85 here. It's a D2 steel. There's a Dimco 8020.5. So anyway, we'll come back to it. But this is Blade Binge. This is where people are selling knives on the secondary market. And you can go and search for whatever kind of knives you're looking for. And then you go to uh, Blade Binge's shop. Oh, here, here's the, the front of it. Look at that. Devo now. Devo Stout version 2 drop on the 17th. The 17th? I thought it was going to be like the 22nd or something. Maybe I'm wrong. On the 17th, the Devo Stout version 2 is dropping. Hold the freaking bus. I want this knife. Wait a minute. What what wait a minute? Hold up. Why didn't I not, why did no one tell me about this or did I forget? I want this one or this one. I want this one right here, or maybe that one. I want, is that one? I want the one that's the satin with the satin lines. I want that one right there. I want this one right here. So those are dropping at 8 p.m. on the 17th. Wow, those are going to sell out in two seconds because that is a fantastic, a freakingly fantastic knife. I want that one right there. I got to check it out. A long time ago, and I made a video of it, and I really hated to see it go. I hated to ship that one back out. That is a very cool knife. Oh, my goodness. wonder how much those are going to go for. But you can go in here and shop the marketplace. You can get grails, EDC accessories, budget-friendly. You can go here and sell your knives to go buy some more. Or if you have knives sitting around that you don't use anymore or, or you don't really care for, or maybe you got them, and you're like, eh, it's not my thing, you can always send them to Bees Blades, and we'll give them away here. Knives fast. He said the Stout V2 has been out for quite a while. They must have a few that Kevin gave them. Well, yeah, I know it's been out. I'm saying I didn't know that. I, I don't think I know he's going to have some at Blade Show. That's what I was looking forward to. And now I'm kind of thinking I remember that this was like a few weeks ago. He said that there was going to be a drop in March. And now it's all coming back to me. Um, yeah, I had the Stout V2 quite a while ago when it came out i got to check it out and do a video on it and man oh man that is such a good knife oh my gosh uh the pony stout is the one that drops on the 22nd okay the pony stout i have upstairs 
the one that's dropping on the 22nd. Uh, plug or not said bees definitely do whatever you can sell a kidney if necessary get one of those dude i that is where i plan to go at blade show that's that was my plan because i'll probably miss the the blade binge drop but i want a stout version too i really do and you know since we're talking about things that are stout i don't have a stout drink <clears throat> but i do have <clears throat> excuse me i do have a nice cold coca-cola zero cherry and now a word from our sponsor, I wish. Wouldn't that be nice to have a Coca-Cola as a sponsor? John Blackman's been a member for 12 months with a super chat. He said, hey, bees, ordered Oni Freeze 2 copper. Dude, that copper is some cool looking stuff, man. Are you going to patina it or are you going to coat it and not let it patina? John Blackman's been a member for one solid year. And for just for that, I'm going to give you a little bit of quick ASMR. <laughs> there's been your bees blades coke zero cherry asmr no i i have not tried the coke spiced zero but i'll try it i will try it ah, that's good fuchs doosley said doesn't make me thirsty but now i gotta pee delaney said great now i gotta pee melvin said i got the riot exok and it's scary I've, I've seen a couple people say that that knife is like crazy to shut what does it do try to get your fingers or something i don't even know what it looks like Uh, uh, Jeremiah said blink. Well, I did blink and here is what's up KC, man. KC, I hope you're having a great week. My friend, I hope you're having a good week, man. KC, did you ever learn how to solve a Rubik's cube? I just learned how to solve it. I'm pretty excited about it. Plug or not said spice Coke is strange. I won't buy it again. <laughs> Kenpo fish says I have a Civivi elementum with burgundy scales on blade bands for 38 bucks. There you go. Lacey said, uh, guys, my kid's asking me, asking for Arby's. Should I get them Arby's? Please say no. I made a deal with them. If y'all say do it, I'll do it. If not, they can't be mad. Lacey, um, you know, since you can keep the bees blades on, on your phone, and I know, I know you're a loving mother, and you and you want Friday night to be a good Friday night for your kids. I think you should get him some Arby's because Arby's sounds good. Get him some Arby's, and I'm not saying you should get him a milkshake. I'm not. I'm not saying that that's something you should do, but Arby's does has been known to have a good milkshake. I, I think uh, you know Arby's sounds kind of good. I think Friday night Arby's for the kiddos. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Double Detent said, I love the spiced Coke. Not so much at first, but it grows on you. I wonder, because Arby's, we have the meats. I wonder if spiced Coke would be good with like spiced rum or something. Any of you uh, drinkers out there have a have a comment on what you what you think about that? EDC and Lay said, dang, y'all didn't give me a chance. <laughs> Beef and cheddars and Jamocha shakes on the way. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Jamoka. Jamaican me crazy. Ken Faulkner with the $20 hair super chat. He said, so glad to finally have my Blade Show tickets. Now can I now I can enjoy the countdown. 83 days to go. Ken Faulkner with the $20 hairs. Dude, Ken, thank you for letting me know because Blade Show failed me on the email notification they had not email notified me and ken let me know 
And I was able to go and get my two tickets for me and Mrs. B's to Blade Show 2024 Atlanta. That's what I'm talking about. True, what? Laura changed her name. True crime junkie. <laughs> I, Laura, why, why you got to go change your name? True, true crime, true crime, true crime junkie has been a member for 22 months with a super chat. Thank you very much, Ken, for the twenty dollars, dude. I know what you mean by you can relax now, because I was like, I was getting a little nervous. I was like, okay, is there a glitch? Has something happened where I missed my opportunity to buy the tickets, and here I already have a res reservation at a place? I was getting a little worried. I feel much better now that I've. Met. I, I agree. Now that I've been able to get my tickets, I feel a lot better about it. Yes, I definitely feel you. True, true crime junkie member for 22 months, too shy of two solid years. Oh my, oh my goodness. Ginger Fisher 75 has been a member for 12 months with a super chat. Ginger Fisher, a solid year. Can you believe that? It's been a whole year. Cool whip. It's been a whole year. Uh, hey, Brian F, you're in here. We were we were talking about you earlier. We were we were asking him. We were going to ask our uh, resident uh, dyer modder. Have you ever dyed Altum scales? If so, how did it turn out? Seems like I asked you this before, but I have a short I have short memory. You know how I am. Uh, Robert Feely said, "I'm trying to find a decent priced flight to Blade Show." There's Ginger Fisher. Twelve months, a solid year. Congratulations, Ginger Fisher. Membership for one freaking year. Man, I forgot how much I like this knife. Got my Kubi out. I have a 10% discount off all Kubi D2 knives. Just so you know. Just so you know. Kubi has a new website. A new website where you can use my discount code and get knives like this. These are only like 40 bucks. So you get four bucks off of that. You're talking 36 bucks for a Kubi carve. This is, this is such a good working knife, man. It's so good. Right. Ray Bodie said, Altum will not die. Well, good. It lives forever. The Punisher said, I used to get beef and cheddar from Arby's. I may grab one the next time I'm near an Arby's. See, I'm not even hungry and an Ar a beef and cheddar sounds good. <laughs> you know, something I used to like, um, I used to get their, uh, uh, potato cakes at Arby's. They still have those. Oh man. You get those when they're hot. They were, they were greasy, but they were really good. Joseph Skate says, I, I, I have like four Kubi Altums. Jasper EDC with the two doll here. Super chat. Jasper EDC, thank you for the two doll hairs. He said, can you cut a beef and cheddar with a sin cut scepter? Yes, you can. Absolutely. Can you cut a beef and cheddar with a sin cut scepter? I like I like how that rolls rolls off the tongue. Eva Lee said Arby's has the best mozzarella sticks. See, this is a, if you're new to Bees Blades or new to the channel, this is something that happens. We always end up talking about some type of food. It's just inevitable. Friday night we talk about food, we talk about snacks. BF BFV Gunner said I remember when you could get five dollars for five. Yes. Five for five at Arby's. They were those Arby's, they were a little bit smaller, but you could get five for five. Uh, the Punisher said, I've never tried the potato cakes, bees. I used to get just the beef and cheddar and some curly fries whenever I ate at Arby's. Um, Brian F said, I'm wiped out. I've been fertilizing all day. Longest day I've had since the end of October. Jasper EDC, thank you for the two doll hairs. Uh, God drop shot said I had Arby's for lunch and it was the first time in years. They had Reese cookies. Oh boy. Jake Anderson. I said, I said, I missed the corned beef sliders from Arby's. Lou said bees. I haven't seen any Korean treats lately. What gives dude? I got, I get them out every week. I'm getting, I'm starting to get a little low. <clears throat> By the way, if you're looking for a gaming chair, office chair, this is the flash XL. This particular chair can handle up to 550 pounds, which is more than twice my weight. So it's not like I need this much of a, of a chair, which means it should last me for freaking ever. 
Um, let's see. But so far, I have I don't have any complaints. I like the headrest that is, uh, what do you call it? It's magnetic, the, the extra soft cushion. You can lay all the way back and literally take a nap in this thing. This is the E1 racing chair. Um, I think I have a 10% discount code. Or no, it's I might have a 20%. I don't even remember. I have a discount code to these chairs. This is like one of their top models. They have a bunch of other models. You don't have to get as top of the line as this. But the reason why I'm getting up is because I'm going to sneak over here and get into my Korean treats and see what we have left. What's in this box? Let's see. That box is packing stuff from where me and Mrs. B's were packing up giveaways. Uh, there are no giveaways on the giveaway table. They have all been given away as far as one's people have won. And I encourage anyone that wants to do something kind for someone to, if you want to send in something for a giveaway, by all means, send it in and we'll add it to a giveaway and you will make someone's day, week, month, or year. So this is what we have left of the Korean treats. And uh, you know me, I usually uh, I usually pick something sweet sweet at the hive <laughs> I, I usually have a sweet tooth kicking because tonight was pizza night you know that well uh i have 25 percent off on this chair i mean 25 percent off and this oh i feel like a king in this chair the punisher said i can't really eat burgers or sandwiches anymore due to partial denture so i haven't eaten anything from arby's lately i mostly stick to softer foods like tamales or similar Dude, uh, Arby's isn't isn't hard food. That's it's. I would I would think you'd be able to gum some Arby's. Dwayne K said donations. You can send them to thirty five forty one Dayton Xenia Road, Unit thirty four ten sixty two, Dayton Ohio four five four three two. That's where you would send anything that you want to do something kind for someone and give put have added to a giveaway. Or if you want to send something to the channel. You have a really nice knife and you 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 just really love bees. <laughs> you want to say a very cool knife. You can do that too. Arky said, Arby's Smokehouse Brisket Sandwich is calling my name. Dude, I forgot about that. I had one of those like years ago and it was delicious. Oh, we're uh, Lacey Lace has started something. Now we're all craving Arby's. Jasper said, bees, I hope I don't win the knife I'm sending your way. <laughs> Jasper EDC is sending the knife. He's doing a DSKFS. He's sending one for a giveaway. All right, let's see. Uh, this, uh, I'm guessing this is probably like a, a peanut butter cracker. It just, patou, 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 patou. Derek for real said, I had a good week this week. In the mail from Blade Binge, I got an artisan great white. Some Civi Civi Imperial, and he put Imperialism, a Spider Co Pair 2, Artisan Bombardier, and finally got a coated Thunderbird. Dude, you did. You made out, bro. This this feels like crackers. This feels like literally feels like crackers. I think it came with a lot of crackers. These are all these all feel like cracker material. This looks like a sweet, it's broken. So I think we're about out of Korean sweets. I think the sweet. Oh, wait a minute. Hold the bus. This kind of has the consistency of a, a Rice Krispie treat. I don't know. I'm going to, that's what, oh, well, it might be a marshmallow thing. What's up, Randy's WSG? I'm going to get in it. I want to see what it is. I'm going to sneak it before Mrs. B's gets down here. Um. Oh. Some kind of cookie. Um, I'm going to tactically open this up so I don't. Uh... Some kind of soft cookie. Let's see. I don't want to get the crumbs everywhere. I want them crumbs in my keyboard. It's a soft cookie. Let's see what it tastes like. It's, it's dry. <laughs> I don't know what the flavor is. It's just like cookie. I can literally eat a pound of them. This is the, the, I don't know. I can't, I can't tell what the, what the, it's almost vanilla waferish kind of. Oh my gosh. I could eat these all day long. Big glass of milk. Oh my goodness. 
yeah, whatever it is, it is very good. It is very tasty. And hold the bus. D. Edelman with the 10 doll hair. Super chat. <laughs> he said, eat more Korean snacks. <laughs> Dude, I wonder what I wonder what country we're gonna get treats from next. This I, I really enjoy this. Top Dog is just amazing. Top Dog, I love you, man. You are just the best. The Punisher said, look like it was a peach or apricot jam flavored. Maybe that's what it is. Whatever it is, it's a light flavor, and it's one of those ones that you can just eat. I'm glad there's only two in here because I could just eat them all day long. Dwayne's K said, I got my first Spider Co. from Knife Joker. Pair of three lightweight Dark Force Green and DLC coated crew wear. Love it. Dude, congratulations. Oh yeah, that's whatever it is. It's a super light flavor. Maybe it is. I don't think it's peach. Maybe it's apricot. 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 Mm, 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 mm. I have a ton of. Uh, here, let's do this. Let me get my. Uh, let me get my pyrotech cracking out here. Look at that. These scales are to die for. Look at those scales. Would you look at it? I took this knife to trivia. Oh my gosh, it is sharp too. I just cut that, uh, we call that stuff, this uh, mylar, so I can get all the, all the goodies. Yeah, I, I don't even know if you could screenshot that to even tell what it is i don't know how many people in here read south korean but they're good whatever they are thank you very much mr edelman for the 10 doll hairs jasper jasper edc said i'm currently munching on a dark chocolate strawberry kit kat mm. hey kc are you uh you still lurking what's your favorite like just go-to snack that's kind of sweet but it's not super sugary that you can you can eat a lot of. <sighs> hey, Blade Walker, here's the thing. Blade Walker said not much of a challenge for that knife. Well, here this is a challenge though. You get a a uh, a wrapper or a uh, a container. What's the word I'm looking for? Like a bag of Cheetos. The stuff that I just cut, that mylar material. If you have a dull knife, and you poke in it, you're just going to rip the material. You know a knife is sharp when you can just cleanly go straight through it. If your knife has little nicks or, or little tears or it's dull, you're not just going to go straight through it. It's going to grab it and rip it open. That's that's I, I really enjoy that. Crazy K, are you in the hive tonight? Wouldn't that be something? Crazy K, I don't know where she's where she's at right now, but she ought to stop by. Here is the new, here are the new, new scale. This is the version two of the spider co spider co <laughs> of the, what do you call it? It's an, it's another animal. It's the, uh, pyrotech. It's the Kraken. Where's it? There it is. There is the Kraken. Uh, Mrs. B's mom said it looks like a, looks like an octopus. It does look like an octopus. Uh, there you go. Top dog just put up a link. To the Pirate Tech Crack, and, and it, it's my link, and it automa has an automatic discount for free shipping. Lou, uh, D D Dwayne K said, Lou, I wanted I wanted it to go with my Pirate 2 Crew Carta. So the Kraken is a, a very good knife. It's very cool. I was showing I was showing uh, Mrs. B's dad. You can just pop the scale off and see what it looks like on the inside. And that that Omega spring is made out of piano wire. Would you just look at it? And you know what? I just I just thought of something. You can make any knife like this a clutch lock if you want to. If you carefully drilled holes either direction on either side of that existing hole, you could literally make it a modified clutch lock. You could make it have stronger or weaker tension to your liking. That would probably not be too difficult to do. You just it would be a small bit. You'd have to be careful not to break your bit, but put the, am I putting this on backwards? There we go. 
Isn't the Kraken an octopus? Oh, maybe it is. It's crack a Ron said, any fixed blades in the giveaway tonight? Folders are for the birds. Really? You know what? I never do add full, uh, fixed blades to the giveaways. I'm going to have to see what fixed blades we can add to giveaways. That means it takes a bigger package to, to, do, <laughs> to give it away. Dwayne K said, Michael, when I would visit family in Cleveland, I would always go to the Greek restaurants and the gyros. Is it gyro? Gyro? Euro? The birds, the bird likes them. T t text yet said. Pirate tech Kraken. Um, Lou said, Dwayne K, did you pay the full 150 or did you get a discount? LCV said, I did not know there was a giveaway. There's a giveaway every Friday. At least one, sometimes two, sometimes three, sometimes four. You just never know. Blade Walker said, Kraken is what used to happen in the bed of my truck. I know, I know, I know no more cracks. BFV Gunner said, the Kraken is a minor league hockey team in Seattle. Christopher Wheeling said, if folders are for the birds, then ba 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 bur bur bird bird is a word, ba 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 Oh, haven't you heard of, of a certain animal of the ornithological variety? Ooh, surfing. Tim Titus said, void your warranty. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Hello, puppy. Hello. Oh, you just came from outside. You're cold. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hi. Hello. How are you? How are you? <laughs> easy, easy. Oh my God. Gosh, are you having a cow? Here. Oh, jeez. He doesn't love me. Just so you know. Easy. Easy. Oh, my gosh, dude. Here. Look. Here. Okay, sit. Let, let's take a breath. Easy. What are you doing? The happiest dog on the planet. <laughs> Dude, are you insane? You just covered me in fur and dirt and mud. Have you been outside having fun? Huh? You been out having fun? You my bud? Huh? Are y'all hyped up? You just covered me in fur. You're not happy unless I'm covered in fur, huh? Oh my gosh. The happiest dog on the planet. You mean to tell me there's a ton of people who love knives and every and everyday things? Yes, it is the truth. Somebody gave Bogey a Red Bull. Oh my gosh, I have Bogey hair in my hair. Okay, now are you ready to calm down for a minute? Say hello to your people. Okay. Say hello to your people. Happiest puppy ever. Yeah, he's a happy boy. The live stream went to the dogs. Gosh, he came down with authority. Yes, he is a big boy now. He's a big boy. He's a happy boy. You're a happy boy, aren't you? Say, I'm always smiling. Say, I'm always a good boy. Oh, no. I didn't want kisses. Oh, my gosh. There's nothing in the world like a dog's affection. Oh my gosh. He he is I'm telling you, he is literally Look. Be the person your dog thinks you are. My dog must must think that I am just like something. Because no matter what, he is always that happy to see me. I can literally run run down to the corner store 
to grab something, come back. And when I come in the house, he greets me like he hasn't seen me in months. When he wakes up from a nap, he, he comes over and just squinty eyed and just so happy to see me right now. He's wagging his whole body. He's just the happiest, happiest dog in the world. He, he really does brighten up your day. Uh, don't, um, he gives himself, he gives of himself by covering you with hair. Oh, Hey, so just so you all know, Bogart has contributed to another, uh, giveaway here on the live stream. We have a certified Bogart rock complete with Bogart hair that we're going to give away tonight. And it has a genuine the main, I mean, I know this is what you all cared. This is why you're here is you want to win this right here. A genuine Ziploc snack bag. Yeah. A, a Ziploc bag with a zip feature. <laughs> and there's a very good chance Mrs. B's will sign this bag. And then you'll not only get a bogey rock, but you will also get bogey DNA included in this rock right there. You can see. Get up there nice and close. A little bit of texture vision. We have another bogey rock. He was cheeking it. He cheeks them. Tries to get away with it. It's got Bogart slobber in it. Uh, Blade Walker said, my dog gets so excited when I come home, he'll dribble pee. There's no love truer or more faithful than your dog. Lou said, I would like a certificate of authenticity to go with that rock. You know what? That's that's a great idea. I could have a certificate of authenticities to be to be officially mouthed or chewed or cheeked by Bogart. Yeah. Yo Daddy said, I don't have any bogey rocks in my collection. He he's very particular about the rocks that he chooses. And I have a couple more. Uh, Mrs. B's, she got one today, today or yesterday at lunchtime that she went to try to get it out of his mouth because she knew he had a rock, couldn't find it. He had it cheeked way up in the top. <laughs> he, he goes, what? I don't have anything. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I don't have a what? What? Ken Faulkner said, can you EDC a bogey rock? Well, oh, absolutely. Yeah, you sure can. You can EDC a bogey rock and you could probably use it for, I don't know, a very light paperweight. <laughs> you could use it to, to, to scratch things. Uh, what do you have? You bring it here. Bring that to Pop Pop. Bring it here to Pop Pop. Thank you. You're such a good puppy. You're such a good boy. Thank you. Thank you. Look, he brought me some packing material. He brought me some popper. Popoids. Poppers. Thank you. You cleaning up, huh? Making sure nothing's on the floor at all whatsoever. Because you're a good boy. Because you're such a good puppy. Huh? You my bud? Yes, yeah, I'm your bud. Yes, you're such a good pupper. Can we get Bentley cardboard? Bentley cardboard? Uh, it's pretty gross after he chews on cardboard. Evil E said, my goal in life is to be a great, as great as my dogs think I am. Guys, can't believe I got 215 subs. Now thank you to MC Hammer and all the new subs. NFK20. He said, thank you to MC Hammer. Uh, NFK20 has 215 subs. You can go sub to NFK20. Blade Walker said, I can't understand how these idiots can be cruel to their dogs. Evil said, if only Bogart, Bogart knew you are his biggest fan. I think you know that, don't you? You know I'm your biggest fan, don't you? Huh? You're my bud. You're my hangout bud. He's just always happy. He's such a good boy. I have eight subs. Hey, Raybo, Ray Bodie has eight subs. Metal Complex. Ah, MC got NFK20 some subs. That is very cool. Uh, Metal Complex got me subs a long time ago, too. He's a really good guy. You're such a good puppy. Look at your pretty teethers. <clears throat> Put the HRC of the rock on the certificate. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll have to come up with a... Uh, a bogey rock certificate and like a date, the date it was founded, the date of manufacture or, or the date of uh, slobberification or the date of discovery. Ah, that's a good idea. We're going to have to come up with a bogey rock uh, certificate of authenticity, like a card 
or maybe a three by five card or something like that. And if I really, if I really had spare time, I could have him put a paw print on it, but I, I don't think we're going to go that far. Cause I don't have that kind of time. Blade Walker said no better place to, to be than live at the hive. Oh, right. So adding to the stage, here are the knives and gear that were on the channel this week. Here is my, uh, E1 Racing, what do you call this thing? Lumbar support. Put that behind my back. Now, here is, here, do you guys see this big, huge Civivi? This thing is, this thing is very cool. I like it. I really do like it. Uh, what's the name? Vix, Vixillum? Vix, Vixillum. Yeah, the Civivi Vixillum. I like this thing. It's a large knife. Um, Ken, this is a Ken Faulkner size knife. This is a Byron Kennedy size knife. Very comfortable in the hand. Certificate of Bogification. Yes. You, uh, Blade Walker said, Aust, you missed everything. EDC and Lace said, the kids love you guys right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, this is a very nice, big, and beautiful. Um, let's see. I got to change my, my Kelvin. My light is right now, it's at 4,000 Kelvin. I'm going to change it to a little softer, 3,700. Let's see, does that help? Yeah, that helps with the flicker. You my pup pup, huh? You my pup pup? You go boy. Um, did you get mozzarella sticks? Ken said, yes, I like it very much. Yeah, it's a, it's a good one. I like it. Blade Walker said, yeah, I'm snagging that CVV. Well, make sure you use my link when you snag it. Toe Jammer 42 has been a member for one half of a year. That is six months with the Super Chat. He said, keep doing what you do. Love the live at the hive. All right. Bogart, here. Here. Are you down here anymore? Did you go upstairs? Bogart, here. Good boy. That's a good puppy. You listen so well. And, oh, look what he brought, folks. Um, he brought something. He always likes to bring me gifts. Here, you want to show him what you brought? You show him what you brought me. If I can get this screen. Hold on. I get the screen to change. Here, look here. Come back here. Up here. Show him what you got. Look what he brought me. Look what he got. He has a work glove. <laughs> He's a helping make help person. He's got my old work glove. He's got a work glove. Thank you. You like that work glove? What's up, Chef Rocky? Chef Rocky's in the hive. Uh, Tim Titus said, I like the Vexillum. It's on my list. Bogey's got Bogey's got work to do. He's got his work glove. He's going to, you going to help me pick up sticks tomorrow? Huh? You and Berkeley going to help me? And hopefully Mrs. B's. It's Bonafide by Bogey. Uh, Lou said, B's, do you think this? Civivi Vex is worth $90. Or should we wait for a price drop? Uh, oh, I know. You just want to lay down my lap. Um, I was kind of surprised by the $90 hairs. Though maybe it's because there's you get so much blade steel because it's a, a larger knife. Um, I will say the texture. Oh, you're just a nubby dubby, aren't you? Yes, you're such a sweetheart. You're such a good puppy. Yes, you are. You like being up on the stage, don't you? Such a good boy. Woot woot! Kenpo Fish has been a member for eight months with the super chat. Kenpo! Eight freaking months. Oh, can you believe it already? That is craziness. Um, top dog. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, people. If you want an extra special giveaway, you got to hit the thumbs up button. That's just the rule. That's just the way it goes. I don't make the rules. I just keep them. Um, what was I saying before I was so sweetly interrupted by my pup chups? He's down here guarding the hive, keeping us safe. Golly, he's a hairy son of a gun. <laughs> the main reason that during the live, when I when I'm I use the uh, what do you call this the the hair getter offer is because I'm trying to not get a bunch of hair all over the not my knives and gear because I have a couple of my knife cases open and hair and dust is the bane 
of a knife reviewer's existence. So when I'm upstairs and I'm on the couch, I don't know, I let him roll all over me. I don't care. But down here, I try to keep the hair down to a dull roar just because. Uh, man, this, this chair is so sturdy. I, I can literally do tricep dips. Talk about the price on the Civivi. Emily said, talking about the, oh, the price on the Civivi. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. I mean, it is Nitro V blade steel, which is, is, it's a good blade steel. And it's a lot of it. It did come with a very, what are you doing? Oh, thank you. Look what he gave me. He just pulled it out of the wastebasket. <laughs> he said, hey, that's bogey hair. Okay, you leave those alone. Here. Over here. Good boy. Where's your toy? Where's your toy? You can, yep, that, that's your toy right now. Your gloves all we got down here. Got to go up and get another toy. Um, I have 5% off of it. I don't know if that helps at all. That'd be what, five, but four fifty. Um, 90, is, it seems a little steep. But then again, you have to think about the brand. Um, they have... If uh, a warranty is something you care about, they do have the USA uh, warranty department. You can send it to if something goes wrong with it. Um, the action, the ergos, everything about it are, I mean, it, it's a really good one. I mean, Civivi just, 90 seems a little steep, but it is a lot of knife. It's a lot of Nitro V. It's a lot of blade steel. Um, like this one here, this is the other one that dropped that at first I thought was a, uh, a front flipper and it's not, it's like the, the little Heidi flipper, the little top flipper or back. It's a back flipper. What's it? The Civivi Quai K, Quai Q or Quake, Quake. It's spelled K W A I Q. And it has this inline flipper. So there's no flipper tab, no pocket pecker but it flips like a regular flipper. And this one, it has a Tonto blade. This is ultra, also Nitro V. Now this one's not as expensive, probably because there's a lot less materials involved. So yeah, that, that's my initial thought is the amount of just the solid amount of materials involved in the Vexillum. And look at this texture. Let me give you some texture. The texture on this thing. Oh, and they totally, totally... I was totally impressed. I was in the middle of making the video and I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be a pocket ripper because it has just enough. It's not aggressive, but to your pocket in and out 50 times, it would start wearing your pocket away. And then I met, literally right in the middle of the video, I turned it over and I was like, oh my gosh, they thought of it. Look at this. They put a flat spot underneath the, where the pocket clip lands. So you won't tear up your pockets. That that right there, I just I just wanted to jump for joy. I was like, now that is amazing. That is flipping flipping amazing. Here's a little bit of texture vision for you. Look at that. It's not sharp. It's not aggressive, but it is. Oh, it's so good. I really like what they've done with texture on a couple of their G10 knives. But look at this. I mean, would you just look at it? It's so good. We put this blade up because we got. Stuff happening over here. Hold the bussin. What do I see going on here? Mr. Ken Faulkner with the five B's Blades membership. Super chat. And let's see who got a membership. Let me get that. Bob Keller, Aust Aust, Knife Wife, and NFK20 were all gifted memberships by Ken Faulkner. Thank you very much, Ken, and congratulations. Newbies bladers. Robert Feely said $86 with your discount on White Mountain Knives. Hey, there you go. Go, go to White Mountain Knives. You can get this. You can get this for $86. Um, let's see, 86, 90. It's probably about the same discount you'd get on uh, Civivi's website, I imagine. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how much they charge. Hand guard checkering, Sam said. Clarence Davis said, Brian F., I don't think B's saw your message. Uh, let's see, what did Brian F. say? Brian F., Brian F. <clears throat> scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, Robert Feely said, I have the blue Civivi Quake. This is a neat little lightweight knife. 
it is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, looking for what Brian F said. He said, B, did you see the glow resin tag I posted on Instagram yesterday? That's part of the Davis custom order. The glow resin tag. No, I did not see that. Hey, what are you doing? Are you getting into mischief? Don't be getting into mischief. No, I, I didn't. I'll have to see it. BFE Gunner said, I discovered today that while Domino's still will not deliver to my house, Pizza Hut does. Hey, hey. So Robert Feely has this one in the blue and black. This one also has very good texture. Look at that. Look at that. A little bit of texture vision for you. Get in there. There you go. Look at that. That's good texture. This is a nice little lightweight knife. It's very snappy. This is this is a good little throw in your pocket. Like an EDC, it's super lightweight. Doesn't even, I don't even think it weighs two ounces. Has a nice tonto blade to it. Oh boy, it is it is sharp too. Came with a nice grind. It's very grabby. It's grabbing my my epithelials, my skin. BFV Gunner said, uh, anyone see the pyrite bowie for sale anywhere? Still wanting one. Um, YouTube is sketchy with that. It happens all the time. EDC said Neves and Emblers build me, so I don't know why it didn't hear, but I was happy about my over one year. Dang it. Neves and Emblers build me, so I don't know why it didn't hear. Well, uh, EDC and Lace, uh, you get, you have the red B. So you, you, it took you, it put you back where you were. You didn't start over. You got your red B. So EDC and, uh, e, uh EDC and Lace. Lacey Lace has got one year. Congratulations on over one year. It'll probably show, it'll probably show in your next super chat. Derek poppenhagen has been a member for nine months with a super chat. He said, hey, bees, what is your favorite new knife recently? <laughs> now, see, this guy knows how to properly word it. <laughs> because that is exactly what you're doing. What you doing? Do you have a rock? Huh? You have a rock in your mouth? Uh, Quake is $58 on Civivi. The big bow is $111. Uh, my name is still showing a non-member to me. Uh, well, you, you've you got the B next to you. Uh, EDC and Lace, it's orange on my screen, said Sam. Um, I think red... Maybe that's uh red is is I don't know what I don't remember what they are. I think you get the queen bee at two years. Maybe the red queen at two years. Uh Dion Brooks said we'll join next month. There you go. Um oh okay. Before I get too sidetracked, did you guys see this? Here, let's uh let's do old switcheroony here. Did you guys see this thing? <laughs> this is a pretty cool. I'm digging it. I like it. I think it's very cool. Uh, let's see. Which? Yeah, look at that. It's a butterfly. And it's magnetic, so it holds itself shut. It's a very cool pry bar. It's the O-Tackle T1. And it is a, it is very fidgety. I, I like it. I enjoy it. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a good, it's a good pry bar. I think I'm going to bring this to family night to show off. My father-in-law likes to see all the new stuff that comes in. Oh, yeah. That's right. What What's my favorite new knife recently? Ugh. What's my favorite new knife recently? Well, um, I have to say, I really do like the, the new Wee Banter Warncliffe. This one is very cool. I, just because I simply love the blade. I love this one, and I also really like the new Kraken. I was thinking about laying the edge back a little bit, maybe putting maybe about 19 degrees on it. I don't know what's currently on it. 
But th this Kraken, it's a crack a lacking. Major Powell said, hey, bees, I just left NAFs. Ben Peterson said hello to everyone. Very cool. Uh, Blade Walker said, I couldn't afford it, but love the knife. The new Kraken is the bee's knees, and it has a good good acoustics, too. Ah, ah, ah. Quick get into stuff. Plug or not said, ballast songs are cool, but I'll never buy one. Um, well, see, th this one this one is, isn't a ballast song knife. It's just a ballast song um, pry bar. And if you didn't see my Olight video from, I don't know, it was a couple days ago. This is what it looks like up close. Uh, Ken Post said, I wish the banter had the forward finger like the big and baby banter. The forward finger. Um, you talk about choils. Oh, uh, let's see. I mean, it has, it has, oh, I'm sitting here showing you the knife cam. You can't see it. I, it's, if you have a, if you have a large width hand, it's good. You're, hey, quit eating cat hair. Quit it. Stop it. It doesn't really need the, fir, the front choil because if you look where my hand is right here, I'm right there at the cutting edge. I'm right there at the, uh, the heel which is perfect. You don't need a forward choil on it. If if you had an XL hand, I think you're, you're still going to be happy with it because it has this. Whenever you have, see that uh, cut off that area right here? Whenever you have that on the end of a knife, that takes a, that becomes an area where if you have XL hands, it's still going to be very comfortable in your hands. And it... The only thing, it, there's only one thing I would change, and it's not a change. I would just add. I would add a little more jimping. It doesn't have to have it because it still grabs your finger, but just you know, I'm a, I'm a jimping fanatic. I wish it had, I don't know, four or five more jimps. But still, when I'm holding it, there's still enough jimps there to help with the grip. And I don't know. This is, <laughs> I like a Warncliffe blade, and it's it's uh it's really i like it it's pretty darn cool and i and i think i can't remember if this has s35 vn uh robert feely said who makes that balisong pry bar dude it's the o tackle i have 10 percent off this thing this is the o tackle t t1 use code b's 10 you can get 10 percent off this is the o tackle t1 um, it has several different sizes. You can see uh, right here. Set, I don't even. I don't remember how many sizes of the wrenches there are. This right here will will uh, this will screw and unscrew oxygen tanks. I don't know if it'll work for like acetylene tanks and things like that. It may. But then you have the pry area up here. You have a little small nail pool, and then this area up here has an edge too. So you could actually use it to open packages and stuff, rip open boxes and stuff. Dog one said, I have a Boker Plus cop that looks like that one. LCB Blade said, I love Warren C Cliff Blade. Yeah, me too. Kenpo said, yeah, I meant finger troll. That's, that's what I figured. Uh, Kenpo said, with you on the Warney Blade, one of the main things I love about my Yojimbo too. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the Warren. Uh, well, let's see. I, I was getting my little uh, dude out here. I think it's can't remember. I think it's S35VN. Yeah, it's S35VN. And I'm sitting here looking it up, and I probably could have put it up on the screen and seen it this way. Let's see if we can see it. There you go. S35VN blade steel, baby. And I know Sabivi has a version of this also. Uh, but if you want to get a little higher, a little premium steel, you can go with the uh, the Wii. Clarence said, I'd like a Kraken, but 300 is a little much for it. Maybe if I see, saw one on Blade Binge, I'll pick it up. EDC and Lay said, ha, ha, ha. O-Tackle, O-Light, O-Knife, what's next? O-Tool, O-Pistol? I think there might be O-Tool already. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they've had... O-Knife has had the O-Tackle. They have many, many different things in the O-Tackle lineup. 
and this is my first uh this is my first o light or what do you call it arcfeld pro this has three different lights on it it has the uh, a very bright uv light has the laser light and then it has the regular light you can have the rate you can have the laser light and the regular light on at the same time let me make sure the dog's not looking i don't want him going nuts climbing up the wall so there's the laser and then if you hold hold the button down uh, or no you you double tap it you can have it let's see and you can turn the light up up and down while the laser's on too so see i have the light on and the laser at the same time isn't that cool and the in the the ultraviolet light golly i don't remember what the numbers are but the ultraviolet light is very very bright for ultraviolet um let's see where's something look at this anything white Hey, what are you getting into over there, young man? He's literally laying in front of the cat's bowl, like about a foot and a half away. He's not eating it. He doesn't, so for some reason, he doesn't eat the cat's hard food. I'm very grateful for that. But it's like, he he's like laying there like, you know, I could, but I'm not gonna, but I could. I see what you're doing. I see you. Michael Warren said 300 for S90V and titanium. It's awesome. Dog One said, Arky, I know. I love it. I used the heck out of it last week and stropped back cake. Lacey said, I got my Spidey last week that most haven't ever seen. Carbon and S30V cat. A rare piece. Huh, I haven't heard of that one. White Mountain Knives has a CJRB Bowie in May. Coming in May. Oh, um, Robert Feely, it's not on Obi, it's on Olight's website. This is on Olight's website. So use my Olight link before you go there. Hey, can a, uh, can a moderator put up my Olight, uh, link? There's people who want to go check out this, uh, it is pretty fun. It has a glass breaker too. Like right chair. The Punisher said, what's the cheapest knife y'all will carry? I'm seeing interest, interesting offerings from Ozark Trail lately, but they're pretty much disposable since they're like under 10 bucks. Lacey said, yeah, most haven't. That was not a hugely sold piece and it's freaking rare. Such a cool little piece that cat, the cat is. Bogart, here. Good boy. He, li he listens very well. Instead of saying come, I say here. Both because that's what I, that's how I taught my other dog. So they both know the same word. Kenpo said, You are correct. There is O Tool, the neat little O Tool bar knife. There you go. 10% off. Dwayne K put it up. Thank you much, Dwayne K. Swiss Tech has an amazing budget knife at Walmart. Yeah, Swiss Tech have some has some really good knives. Uh, what's another knife? Then I let's see, there's that. Um, <clears throat> here's the Javelot. This, this was on the channel this week. This thing is really cool. Has the has the tail switch and the side switch. This thing is a thrower. It puts out a wicked beam, and it has good. It has good. Uh, what do you call it? Good. Uh, good. Good. Uh, what do you call it? Spill. So you can not only. I mean, this beam goes forever. But it also has a lot of spill. And then there's turbo. Oh my gosh. I can't even look at the wall. I'm not even looking. This thing is insanely bright. It's a very good flashlight. I like I like the tail switch that you have two options with the tail switch. You can just turn it on low, or you can just tap it and low will stay on. Or you can hold down to have the, the turbo on. Or you can click down and turbo will stay on. I like how I like how simple it is. It's very, very intuitive. And these are these are very, very uh, what do you call it? Convenient. Like if I'm running out to the garage or I'm going to do something, I'll just get it and like literally just throw it on the side of my pants, even if even if I don't have a uh, belt on. Pretty good. And you can leave it in this and still charge it. That's pretty cool. Travis Kirk has been a member for 27 months. 
with a super chat. And he is an all access bees. He said, keep that maximum amount of honey flowing every month. You and Mrs. Bees are worth every, every penny. Thank you very much, Travis Kirk. 27 months. Oh my goodness. The puppy heard the bell and came running. It's like the dinner bell. Oh yeah. Oh man, this, this chair is big enough. I can sit on my leg. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, so this is the newest in my collection. I kind of gave a, sh a, a short little comparison between this, the Arc Flex, and the original Arc Feld. This one is a tad beefier, just a little bit, and just a tad longer. has a little more girth going on. And this one lasts a lot longer. The battery is considerably longer. You have many more Maz in this one than you do the original Arkfeld, which is also very cool. And then, of course, the new Roboto 4 S35VN Blade Steel. This is by Olight or O-Knife. This one just really threw me for a, a loop. I was not expecting it. Not expecting it at all. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's it's a ten, It's past 10 o'clock. It's time for Mrs. B's to come down. I hear movement upstairs. And don't forget to go to Blade Binge. I have a uh, 10% off at Blade Binge, uh, the knife shop. You can go in there and buy knives. Any kind. They are a knife dealer now. So besides being a secondary market to buy and sell knives, they're also a dealer. So you got your hookup on the dealer. You know what I mean? It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Yeah, when I was growing up, 10 p.m. didn't mean anything. You didn't have to, if it, if it was the weekend. Driving to pick up my son from work, said David Tooley. NFK20 said, I'm not even old enough to know that, that know that, just saying. Um, Dog1 said, EDC, I know, seldom users bandwagon those things. The Punisher said, Michael, Michael, gotcha. I tend to research my knives before I drop the money on them nowadays. Lacey said, TP2, yeah, pretty much. Basically, if you need something to poke with, then they work to cut with. Forget about it. Forget about it. Um, John Blackman said, is the Olight Arkfeld have a built-in battery? Yes, it does. It's rechargeable. It's just like the rest of Olight's. It's just like the rest of Olight's knives. or." Uh, flashlights you can has the magnetic charger so you just get it close to the charger and it's charged up this one has i think it's like 1350 lumens and then you can you have turbo which is 1300 lumens i believe oh golly let's see two taps is strobe and then three taps is turbo or wait a minute two taps <laughs> i don't even remember now edc he said fun yeah that's a solid price maybe a little too good to make sure it's not a counterfeit i need a couple drops of eye lube blinker fluid top dog there you go top dog just put up the link that will take you to where you can check this out this is the O Tackle T1. I have 10% off these, of course. It's a very cool pry bar. And you know what? I like the idea of having this in your pocket so the sharp edges of the pry bar aren't going to like gouge you in the leg. Don't forget to hit that like, like button, y'all. I know. I've just been waiting for like 10 minutes. Like, what are you doing? I'm playing with the dog. <clears throat> we got some new stuff for Mrs. B's to check out. Everybody's been waiting. They've been waiting for like 14 minutes. Like, You know what? I can come. This is not my show. I can come down whenever. Uh, 10 o'clock, it becomes your show. No. Yeah. It becomes the Mrs. B's I Blade Show. I come down in 10.15. No. Yes. No. Oh, that's right, 
Jacobs? No. Yes. No. Hi. Lad ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Bees is in the hive. Hello, Bees. Bladers. Top Dog said, hello, Mrs. Top Bees. Top Dog, Top Dog, Top Diggity Dog. Kevin Smith said, I don't know if I'd want to go back to my 20s. 52 now, and life is good. Can you get that off? Very sticky. Thank you. Hello. You want to come over here and say hi? I will. I'm just going to follow that. Oh, my God. You know what? Don't give me that look. Hello. Thank you, Michael Warren, for the blink reminder. I would just like to show you my fun shirt that I wore today. See what Clarence said? It's getting later and later. No, it's not. Yeah, you used to sometimes come down at like 945. You know what? Now it's like, hi, everybody. I know he's closing down. Just want to say bye. Okay, later. You know what? This is your show. I just made an appearance. You can't. You, you've yeah. become an integral part the of the, the hive stream. Then it's just not as fun. But if I make random appearances, it's like I'm sparkling and new. Anywho, here's my shirt. Oh, yeah. Check out her new shirt. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Let me just get it out of the chair. It'll be easier. So here is my shirt that I wore to work today. Hippos just make me happy. Fun. So I have a hippo on my shirt and... Everybody get your screenshots out because this is a freebie. I got she has giraffe giraffe socks. My socks. My mom gave this she to has me. Giraffe socks. On Tuesday. Tuesday. On a Tuesday. What did that what did Robert Feely say? Uh Mrs. Bees, I heard you're gonna help Mr. Bees pick up the yard. False advertisement. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who's spreading those lies. Eat your rubs. Michael Warren said, house hippos make me happy. Is that a dog? Would that be a house hippo? Would that be considered a uh, pity? I don't know what people are saying because you didn't scroll. Hello. David said, it sounds like Mrs. B's, uh, yeah, your mic's not on. No. Give me the box thing. No, my mic is not on. It's on. It's on now. Oh, now it's on. I just turned it on. Oh, I guess it was go. on, then I think I turned it off, and then any twisters nearby? No. Maybe. Lou Ziegler Zer said, for some reason, that shirt reminds me of a headline I once read. Hippo eats midget. <laughs> not too long ago, a hippo ate a two-year-old. Somebody to the hippo with rocks and then the hippo regurgit regurgitated the two-year-old. <laughs> he regurgitated it? Yeah. Didn't get a chance to fully like it was just like a half uh, Melvin, the, the, the tornadoes were about a, I think about an hour north of us or so. Mrs. B's check out the hippo knife at White Mountain Knives. There's a hippo knife. Ooh. What? <sighs> Excuse me while I do some. James e said because everyone should have a hippo. <laughs> everyone should have a hippo. Because everyone should have a hippo, right? Because they are the friendliest critters on the world. Hippos kill more than anything, I think. No. Sam, Sam said hippos out here test biting babies. I think my spirit animal is a hippo. I'm not going to lie. Skip air. Yeah. Lou said to be fair, most two-year-olds do not taste good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I haven't tasted many two-year-olds. Yeah, hippos do kill more people than lions in Africa. Probably because there's a ton more hippos than there are lions, for one thing. They look short and steady. Hippos are very territorial. I am, too, if you come close to my food. <laughs> uh, Tim Titus said, my wife used to have hippo slippers. What? I almost bought a pair of hippo slippers. Hi, Gregory, but I didn't feel like paying for it. So I went with a $9 pair. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Nice texture. Yeah, the texture, the texture on this one is so good. Mrs. Bees, have you ever seen the giant trolls in Dayton? I have. I have not gone to that bar yet, and I really wanted to. My, my one of my friends used to live down around the corner from there. I had garbage on my glasses. I've seen baby hippos swimming in the middle of crocodiles and they don't even bother it. <laughs> Wouldn't bother it either. Melvin said my ex was a hippie. 
Lou says, I beg to differ, Mrs. B's manatees are the friendliest critters. Jim Miller said crocodiles kill the most. Do they though? Blades Edge said, How about a harpy eagle? Harpy Larpy? Yeah, this this uh what's the steel on that? This is 14 C28 in, and then the steel is, or the uh, the handle is titanium. Hey, Terry T Rex got his package. Hey. Wonderful. This is this is a very eye friendly blue. Eye -friendly? Feel, feel how good it feels. It's a mm. good you don't like it? I don't know if I like that texture. Really? It's weird on my hand. If put a little pressure on I it. I did put a little pressure on it. Mm. I like it. It's kind of like I don't know. The when whole family uh Bob Keller said the whole family is here watching and flipping wife with her drop bear. Hey, good choice. Daughter Emma with her petrified fish, 818, and me with my Militaw. Wow, you all have some good knives. The petrified fish, 818, is a fantastic, fantastic EDC knife. It is a good knife. Um, Sam said, Mantis Fist is a top three brand name. Bob, that's freaking awesome. So, Mrs. B's, uh, let's do a pocket check or a pizza. To check. I was gonna say pocket check. I got nothing because I wore <laughs> sweatpants to work. Mrs. B's is in sweatpants. Well, Watch out! I didn't really wear sweatpants. They're more like joggers. Yes, like stretchy pants. Um, what was the question? Uh, pizza check time. Pizza check. We had spicy buffalo chicken pizza, and what was the other one? Um, Meatball and pepperoni. Ah, uh, yeah. They were both okay. Have pressure behind the the one with behind. meatballs was really good. It's just it needed more meatballs. It needed a different flavor. The meatballs were really good. I wish there was like twice twice as many meatballs. Mm, it was a corn dog. I night. had a corn dog night. I haven't had corn dogs in a while. No, I like corn dogs. I think my head is tight because I was looking down a lot today at my phone. Why? Why was I looking at my phone? Yeah. Because I didn't have work to do, so I just read a book. No. Wow. BK said, no pizza tonight. Wings are being cooked as we speak. Oh, um, I made pizza Mrs. From B's where wings. The local joint? No, we had Papa John's. We had Papa. And we're going to have um, pizza tomorrow night. Sweatpants to work, casual Friday to the max. Well, technically, I paid $50 at the beginning of the year to wear whatever I want to work for six months. And fortunately, at the end of the month is the end of my months. But they're like joggers. They look like fancy dress pants. I haven't gotten in trouble for me yet. <laughs> <laughs> pork chops for me. Oh, pork chops. Oh, that's something we're going to have to uh, grill out. I did buy pork chops in bone. Did you? Yeah. Oh. thought I told you that. Very nice. Yeah. I also found two recipes for sumo oranges. Oh, yeah. So one's a sumo orange chicken, and the other one is a sumo orange zesty saucy wing stuff. Uh, what were the what were the ingredients that we had to get? Didn't we have to get special ingredients? Or you had me check in the cupboards. Um, one was sesame oil, rice vinegar. And I mean, I was looking at soy sauce, but we have like four things of soy sauce. Oh, hoisin sauce was another option. Ken Faulkner said the cube can't. Oh, I was told earlier tonight that it doesn't count unless someone else mixes up the cube. Like, like they're like they think that if if I mix it up, that it, it's I'm doing some kind of pattern mixing it up. Mm. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Mrs. B's officially mix up the cube. What am I doing? Just spinning it. Uh, yeah, just mix it up real good, I guess. <laughs> that's mixed real well. Look. What? So that's mixed real well. Oh, yeah. Well. Show them. Look what she accidentally did. Yeah, I'm yeah. winning. <laughs> you know, bees, you're going to go blind if you keep playing with that thing. Nachos and tacos that don't have their lives together. Oh, nachos are tacos. That don't have their lives together. <laughs> and chicken fried rice. On the Blackstone. Okay. Dirty, Dirty Deep said, how old are you, bees? I am half a century. Lemmy Dog said, how good is the QSP button lock? Had horrible experiences with them. You had horrible experiences with them? You know what's fun? I got wished half 
happy birthday four times today at work. Why? Well, I made a joke. So one of our dispatchers, okay, I think this is thoroughly mixed. I just keep spinning it. Okay. Right. So one of our dispatchers had a birthday on Wednesday. One of our officers had a birthday on Tuesday. Or no, no, no. Wednesday. Her birthday was on Thursday. And I said, oh my gosh, my birthday's on Friday. So oh. so she kept telling everybody my birthday's on Friday. And one of the new detectives looks at me and she's like, isn't your birthday in May? I was like, yeah, it's the same day as the Chiefs. <laughs> hey, best friend. What's up, Rocky? Chef Rocky's in the hive. Dog one said, I threw a can of a chunky sirloin burger soup at a brown bear that broke my window. It ran, came back, and clawed my tree bad. Wow. Um, so I, I haven't had any problems with the QSP penguin butt lock at all. I mean, I don't go out and try to chop tree, chop, chop trees. I don't go out and chop trees with it. You know but, what's fun? What? Sometimes when I sit here in front of people, yep. I forget I'm in front of people and I make weird faces and then I look up and I'm like, oh, there's my face. Well, you're also several feet away, so it's not that bad. Oh, no, it's noticeable. Is uh, it? James Hope says, my birthday is tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hopefully you do something fun and the weather is nice. Had a Kaiser assassin got cut twice. And once with the ceviche. <laughs> the new cutting, ceviche knife. Just cutting rope. Hadle Productions. Pew, pew, pew. Hadle with the two doll here. Super chat. He said, my birthday is tomorrow. Hello, fellow Pisces. What? Another two <laughs> doll here. Super chat. You in the... Hello, fellow Pisces from Hadle Productions. Yeah. Tim says, we love your face, Mrs. B's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way. I love. I like your face. Uh, We have a pizza date. Pizza date? Yeah. Okay. And 80 some odd 80, days. 80, 20.10. What? Oh, yeah. We're going to go to, we're going to go have pizza with Mr. Ken Faulkner at Blade Show 2024 Atlanta. And, 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 and his and. lady love. Yeah. Who toe jammed herself today or she, yesterday? Was she a toe jammer? Yeah, she wham jammed it real hard. Oh, got a nasty bruise. Look at that bruise. Oh yeah, she did, did wham jam it. She wham jammed it. That's wow, never fun. Mellow mushroom, here we come. Mellow mushroom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Why do I just start feeling a breeze? Mark Durr gifted one bees blades membership. Mark Durr, and who got the membership, Mrs. B's? Uh, Kevin Smith and Knives. Kevin Smith and Knives. Congratulations on the membership. <laughs> You're lucky I was able to read that one because some people's usernames, I'm like, move the photo. You're like, okay, okay, okay. Pretty much. You just made me read it so you could focus on your little weird Well, I'm giving thing. I'm giving them something to see while we're doing the live stream at the same time. I mean, they can see your little, face and all of the knives on the table. For a little something extra fun. Is it extra fun? Mm -hmm. You know what's extra fun? What? I thought one of the dogs took a giant pooparooski on the floor this morning. <laughs> but lucky for me, it ended up being... It ended up being a dog toy. toast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I loved it when you told me that. Yeah, so the dogs have like a... I'm not kidding. It's, all, it's about this big, minus my face. So it's that big and it's tan on one side. And then on the other side, it looks like avocado toast. Well, I was running around like a mad woman this morning because he sleeps in on Fridays. And I saw it in the middle of our living room. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, I had three no. minutes to get that I had to leave the house. I still had to put the dogs up and a few other things. Did not get to make my coffee. So I got the gloves, the paper towels, the trash bag. I walked over to it. And I'm like, really? That's a piece of avocado toast. The Punisher dude said, that's awesome. I would like to touch one maybe one day if it's friendly, of course. What, a mellow mushroom? I thought we were talking about Booperuski. I did too. At least it's warm. Well, I, I liked your story, though, how you went over there and you were like, I only have two minutes. I have to leave for work. And then you found out <laughs> it was just avocado it, it was an <laughs> avocado dog toy. And it was not, in fact, a pile of steaming poop. Yep. And it was weird because I didn't smell it. So well, that's like, what I was going to say. Is, uh, Melvin says, what is a mellow mushroom? Mellow mushroom is a pizza place that is down in Atlanta. And ironically, we have one 
fairly close to our house that we do not eat at. Yeah. It's more fun when it's in Atlanta. It is. And you know what I'm really excited about? What? Finishing our podcast. A I need to know. Oh, yeah. What, what's it? What's the podcast called? Um, Which one? We listened the to one, a few. Uh, I don't know. That main Clock one. Clock Encounters. Clock Encounters. Yeah, that that's that will make a travel time really pass. Yeah, I don't think there's a few updates on some of the ones we finished. So I have not looked at them. I was very tempted, but I did not. What, just to see what they are? Yeah. Well, no, like the updates to the one that we listened to last year. Yeah. There was an update to it, but I haven't listened to it yet because I figured I can't. I'm going to wait just because you want to listen to it as well. Oh, I was trying to be nice. Ooh, poop between the toes ruins the day. Yes, it does. Also, a little bit of vomit between the toes ruins it too. Lou says, for a second, I thought Mrs. B's had started her own podcast. Absolutely not. I don't have enough to talk about. Ba -do -do -do. Uh, Josh Branson says, tell me why my boy is giddy saying tonight is his lucky night. Because maybe it is. <clears throat> why is it his lucky night? I don't know. Probably because he's going to win. Win something. There you go, folks. Yeah, Ta-da. I'm really surprised you were able to talk. I feel like you weren't really listening. Words were just tumbling out of your mouth so you could focus on your forward, backward. <laughs> well, I figure it's move. really good practice to, to do it while talking because it's really hard to concentrate at mm. the same time. BEDC said magic. That is just the coolest thing. I can't believe I learned how to do it. Have you That's... ever listened to Mr. Ballin? I have not. I haven't heard that one. He, he said it's his birthday. His lucky day. He said his birthday is his lucky day. Mr. Ballin is great. Never heard of that one. Look at this. Look at this little knife. Is Mr. Ballin a murder mystery podcast? I also like Park Predators. Oh, yeah. Park Predators is bad. What's the one? The, the murderers? Where were they? New Hampshire? Um, the, the one that I was like, uh, somebody worked at a, at a bar and then th there was a, uh, a bloody rag in the street. Oh, the girl. Yeah. That's the one that has an update. Oh yeah. That was a really good story. <laughs> I think we, we don't even have all the episodes finished on that one. I don't think, I think we had like one more. Derek Poppenhag said, Mrs. B's, this is your time. Happy birthday experience precision. Uh, he's an ex-Navy SEAL that narrates all kinds of crazy stories. Oh. Mm, maybe I'll look into that. How long does it take to get to Blade Show? Eight hours? Ugh, too long. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. It's kind of excessive. Uh, BFV Gunner said, Mrs. B's, if you like true crime, I know a guy who moved the body in the Vol Dooley case. Ooh. The Punisher said, I wanted to buy a capuchin monkey when I was younger, but I learned they're like eight grand. So I oh ended up collecting firearms <laughs> <laughs> they're cheaper than a capuchin monkey well depending on how many firearms you collect yeah that's true sean bat said 10 hours to blade shoe blade show for them let me google it i don't know i me and mrs b's and i enjoy our road trips we always have fun we do i think that's our longest one we do well we did we, we did a longer road trip than that we drove all the way out to saint something in Georgia. St. Simons? Saint, was it St. Simons? Yeah. Yeah, that was like 10 hours. I mean, it's still Georgia. It's a lot farther. BFV Gunner said, I have far more firearms than a capuchin monkey would cost. Uh, Experience Precision said, you know how old you are when you say years young. So from here to the Cobb Center is 7 hours and 33 minutes. So it'll take us about nine. Well, that's that's how long it would take right now in no traffic. Probably. Oh, yeah, that's true. The Cobb Center, anybody in here right now that's in here going to Blade Show 2024 Atlanta? Are you driving or am I driving? I'm driving. You know what I mean by that question, though, right? Not yet. 
My car, your car. Uh, we'll go with my car. <coughs> Uh, Brian F said, "There's nothing wrong with collecting firearms. There's a tool, no different than a knife." Yep. Blade Show Atlanta. Emily Brimmer's going. Sean Bats and Emily are both going. Hey. Look at this uh, really cool. Uh... No, no. It makes me of those stupid, pry bar. stupid flippy knives. I know, but this see, this is not a knife. This is an actual pry. You can scrape stuff with it. You can open a can. This is like. Eight different sizes of wrench. If you got to tighten something, mm. our best friend is going. Chef Rocky's going. We're gonna see Chef Rocky. Steve-O said hello. All finally home and in the hive. Mike E Trails said, "Hopefully Kaiser sends me again." Texas was my first, and it was amazing. Nice. Robert Feely says, "I want to go. Just have to find a decent flight price." Mikey Trails is in the hive. Blade Walker said, going. I think it depends on health, but I'm going. Hey. Pluggernaut said, not going to Atlanta, but I'll be at Blade Show West again. Cannot wait. Ooh, Melvin says 12 hours and 59 minutes for me. <laughs> That's a lot. 13 hours. Howard K said, 15 hours to Atlanta. Won't be doing that drive again. Ooh, I think I would fly if it was that long. Brian F. said, I don't think I'm going to be able to go this year. Oh, dang it. Bummer summer. BEDC said, my wife and I drove to Blade Show, Texas with a detour to pick up Mr. Dopey. 18 total hours. Yes, I'll be in Atlanta all three days. I'll have some special exclusive stickers again, too. Hey. hey, hey. BEDC is going to have some exclusive Blade Show 2024 Atlanta stickers. When they have one in Alabama, I'll go. Greenbow, Alabama. Sean Bat said tickets bought and hotel booked, and Emily Burmer is driving. Ha 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 ha. Don't tell her I said that. Well, too late. BFB Gunner said we'd have a six hour drive just to get out of Texas if we drove to Atlanta. Oh my gosh. Just to get out of Texas. Ken says five hour flight for me and Vicky. Do you guys get tickets yet? Flight tickets? Uh, Mike says I heard Atlanta is the biggest, and it's. Like three times the size of Texas. Uh, Blade Show Atlanta is the largest knife show on the planet in the world. Hmm. Would we ever go to the one in Texas? I would like to. When is it? Um, it, it was just uh, maybe last month. It, it just happened a couple weeks ago. In uh, end of February? Uh, Richard Kastner says, I wish I could go. I live 45 minutes away from Atlanta, but I'll be in Dallas that week. Do you still have the Beluga Tonto? Mark said, yes, I do have the Beluga Tonto. The Punisher 2 says, I'll be making a 25-hour drive from Texas to Virginia next month. Friend gave me a 25? truck and I have to go pick it up since shipping it would be insanely expensive woof that's a long how many hours 25 hours from texas to virginia jeez that is so long are you doing it all in like one day are you gonna make it like a multiple day that could take a whole week <laughs> you said tw did you say 25 hours 25 hours from where texas oh, yeah. to virginia 25? Yeah. You can, if you go nonstop, you can go all the way to California from here. No. No? No, you cannot. No, you can't? No. Okay. You can make it from Moorhead, Kentucky to Denver, Colorado in about 24 hours on a Greyhound bus stopping twice. You know how I know that? Been there, done that. Would not do that again. I mean, I might. Yeah, that was when we drove out for basketball so we drove out they played saturday night if they won saturday then they played sunday if they lost saturday we would have to get back on the greyhound and drive all the way back Whew. yeah uh blade binge is going to be at booth 418 blade binge that we show a couple times every on the chain every uh friday they are I'm, I'm excited to go and check out blade binge in person Todd Carr said, 25 hours straight drive for me to Blade Show Atlanta. Holy cow. Mm -mm. 
just so long. This is the Beluga Tonto. Good scraper knife. It's really comfortable. It's comfortable. Mark with the five doll hair super chat. Super chat. Mark with the super chat. Super chat. Oh yeah, you can like a super chat. I forgot about that. Yeah. Ta da. Ta, 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 ta. Lewis said, Ohio to Virginia in four to five hours, depending on whether or not you believe in speed limits. <laughs> <laughs> BFB Gunner said, I drove from New Jersey to Louisiana in 16 hours straight once hmm. when I was young. Um, we live in Southwest Ohio. My son and I drove to... Night, Prado. He Have a good I'm night, gonna... Prado. So I'm going to log off and lie down and take care of all. Have a good night, Prado. Um... My son and I drove to New Orleans from Ohio, Southwest Ohio. We drove straight through. We only stopped twice to get fuel, and we got there in 13 hours. Derek said, does Mrs. B's like the new Warncliffe banter? Mm, the Punisher 2 says, Mrs. B's, I'll <clears throat> drive halfway one day, stopping in Tennessee for the night, and then driving to Virginia the next day, and I'll be doing the same thing on the way back. So Mrs. B. Bees, I have a new knife for you to check out. Okay. <laughs> I, I Actually, I'll show you all the new knives. But here is the Warncliffe. Hold on. Let's do this to bring the light back to us. The light will follow our hands. And now there's light back here. Isn't the that, claw. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. Isn't that just crazy. Ridiculous. Crazy for feelings only. The blade reminds me of Bruce Nose. Is that the guy on uh, Despicable Me? Yes. That's that's what those blades remind me of, too. It needs a flipper. Oh, it doesn't have a flipper? Nope. I like that blade. That That's a good everyday carry. And that's, you know how, you know Saviti, right? Mm. Well, that is as no, a Wii. I don't know. Yeah, I know Ceviche. I know Ceviche. <laughs> Ceviche. <laughs> that's a Wii knife. So that means it's it's a higher quality, higher quality material. Purple? Yeah, it's purple. Asking because I couldn't tell. It's very dark down here. It's not really. I like it. It's comfortable in my hand. It's, it's mood good, lighting for the. It's a for good the, size for the live stream. I just don't know if I like the blade shape. It's it's bigger than the baby banter. Stone wash. Yep, stone wash. I like stone wash. Very pointy at the tip. <coughs> yeah, I mean, I like it. It's a good size if it's comfy. It's a good package opener too. I just feel like I need. A flipper or a button. One one more blade deployment. One more option for blade deployment. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't hate it. I'd carry it. Carry it. Oh yeah. Speaking of my yeah, shing 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 shing. You sharpen. What? Which one? Mm, drop there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to put a nice fresh edge on your drop bear. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I've sharpened LC200 in or not. I can't remember if I have. Hey, Sam says my son was accepted into the Science and Robotics Institute. Temp, Tempe? T-E-M-P-E? -E. Temp, Tempe? What? T-E-M-P-E. -E. You can't focus. Where are we at? We're right here. Uh, it moved right there to the Tempe Science and Robotics Institute. That is, that's exciting. I haven't heard of it, but just the fact that it says science and robotics, that's exciting. Never heard of it. Where is that? Wow. What state? Tempe, Arizona. It sounds very, very uh, technical. Sounds smart. Must have a smart kid. How do you sharpen? Freehand? Fixed angle? Both? Big toes, little toes. <laughs> Both. I added the the last two on it there. It depends on it depends on uh, how much time I have and what I'm doing. Um, did you tell them that Stacy says hi? Go ahead. Uh, everyone, Stacy wanted us to tell you that she says hi and she misses everybody. Does Mrs. B's like Warren Cliff banter? Warren Cliff banter. Is that what I just looked at? I think so, yeah. It is a 7 out of 10. I feel like that's a good option. And you know what's funny? What? I did not like the way my hair looks today because I didn't use conditioner because I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it with shampoo, with shampoo. 
not as not as good. It's a little frizzy. Your hair. Oh, what'd you use? Uh, uh, I just used the shampoo and not the conditioner. Ah. My curling shampoo. Shampoo. I'm so sorry. I just can't stop yawning. I've only been up since. Oh, I've been sitting. I, you guys couldn't even see it. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? I didn't even notice. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I've been sitting here solving the cube, and you guys couldn't even see it. Oh, jeez. I was trying to give them some, like, like a, a second view. Richard Kaufman hitchhiked from San Bernardino to Dayton, Ohio in 36 hours. Chef Rocky said, I think you look beautiful. Thanks. I think I look tired. Ron Dobbins said, I just got a golden design standard and an EMP nimble. Ooh. He was peeling stickers, Ken said. I was peeling stickers. Yep. It's not true. If we didn't see it, it didn't happen. <laughs> I concur. They said they could hear it. Um, or we, was that just him over there going, Kush, Kush. I was just going, Kush, Kush, Kush. have you seen? I think I sent you the video where the mom is sitting in the kitchen with her two young kids and holding a can of Cool Whip. I don't know. I didn't send it to you. <laughs> It was really cute. She goes, hey, so-and-so, what sound does this make? And the daughter's like, Grrr. like the sound that comes out. And she's like, whatever they're, her son's name is. He's, she's like, what is it? What sound? What is this? He goes, <laughs> like, however cool it sounds. I'm like, both of those sounds are perfect. Todd Carr said, bees, we were giving you your private time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Derek Friel said, you look beautiful too, bees. Uh, Tony's Ponies says, hi guys, can't sleep. It's 2.45 a.m. in the UK. And guess what? Caught alive. Hey, we got UK in the hive. Caught alive one. Caught alive one. Tony, what's up, Tony? Tony. That's how I say our uh, maintenance guy's name. Tony. Tony. Welcome to the stream, Tony. Sam said they know what your neighbor in fourth grade ate for breakfast. They know what? Who does? What? Who does? This is the new Roboto 4 from O Knife. Mm. They don't have the big branding on the blade like they usually do. The big uh the big symbol. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they'd have it all across the blade right here and made it look a lot cheaper. And it's making faces again. It's S35VN. Wow. I think I would dive a handle. I think I would do Oh a yeah, Brian F. Did we ever get an answer? I think I would do like a purple color. Dwayne K said, Did Ramette send you the seahorse yet? Uh, oh, blue would look really cool. Oh, blue would look cool. Uh Ramette sent me something I got in the mail today. Maybe it's the seahorse. Lavender. Lavender would look good. I can't remember if you can Dang. dye this stuff or not. <laughs> Lou says, Mrs. Bees, do you ever find weird things in Mr. B's beard similar to how you find rocks in Bogey's mouth? <laughs> um, I, told, a, I told him how uh, not you, usually. how the puppy was <laughs> cheeking, cheeking one. Oh, yeah. He had that hidden. He gummed it. I thought he swallowed it, and I'm like, oh, this is great. Nice to see a couple enjoying the knife hobby. You're going to have to uh, remind me. I want to sharpen your knife. Yeah. So you can take it tomorrow night and let your dad shave his hair, arm hair with it. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I do not need his arm hair. So, Robert Feely said, someone someone said you can't bees. What can't you do? Dwayne K said, maybe oh. the newer gen of the rhino button lock. Diet. Oh, you can't. Someone said you can't. Brian F., have you tried? Uh, Brian F. said, bees, I like that. Awesome they stopped branding blade. You have not dyed Altum. I don't think it will work. I also like yellow altums, so don't really want to change mine. I'll color it with a Sharpie. Here you go, Mrs. You know what? If you colored it with a Sharpie, with that dark background, it might kind of look a little purple. I have a purple Sharpie at work. You can try it. This is S35VN. So Onife upped their game. They have that nice, clean blade. It's thin, the knife itself is thinner. It's, it's really comfortable in the hand. You know what's fun? Feel how comfortable this is. You know what's fun? What? See this cup? Yeah. I bought it for you. Totally stole Oh, it. yeah, you did. You <laughs> snagged it. <laughs> I did. Major Powell said, I've seen smoke ultimate. It's semi-transparent, blackish in color. What if you, like, roughed it? Hey, the I have a discount code 
a Kubi discount code on all Kubi D2 knives. Ooh, yeah. Google says Ultima is not porous, so it will not die well. Thank you very much, Ken. I can draw small holes in it to make it porous. There you go. Mrs. Bees will just rough it up. Dwayne Case has put some good glow paint under the Ultima. Hey, I would try that. We need to get some good glow paint. It's comfortable. Adjacent. No, it's not bad. I like, I like, it's, it's slim, it's more slender. It's not a big old, like, thick, heavy knife. I like all of it, but the yellow. Yeah. I mean, I like yellow, but to me, that just looks like. Looks like in, honey. Pee in a toilet. Pee in a toilet. <laughs> oh, oh, um, I can't remember who said it earlier. Credit to whoever said it. They said, this is before. And then this is after you're hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That you is pretty pew, good. Pew, pew. Mark with the five doll hairs. He said, why aren't they using Lexon more frequently on scales? You know, I don't know. You would think that it would be popping up more, but I haven't seen it popping up more. Maybe, maybe there's not as much of it or maybe it hasn't caught on yet. I'm not really sure. Thank you very much for the five doll hairs, Mark, with the super chat. Are mosquitoes a thing? Are what? Are mosquitoes a thing? Right now? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's. I don't think they've had enough time. Okay. No, I don't think so. Because I got an itchy. What's up, Andy Dillinger? I got an itchy spot. Uh, Toe Jammer said it looks like plastic that you smoked around for years. Uh oh. Dwayne Case said if I went that clear, I'd be afraid. See this red spot? Yeah. It itches, but then when I touch it, you there's see a little that dot one. in the middle. Yeah, that's why I asked if mosquitoes were a thing. Oh, they might. I don't know. Maybe you got the first mosquito bite of the oh, year. Oh no. Oh yeah. I don't like bugs. Can't focus. Said Lexon is very available. Speaking of bugs, did you tell them about how much you could make being a cranberry picker? Oh, uh, tell tell them what you found out, Mrs. Bees. So I was watching TikTok. You Wait, know, hold on. Like any normal human does because that's what I do in my spare time. No. Uh, mosquitoes are up in Michigan. No. Um, <coughs> they have so those cold weather mosquitoes up in Michigan. I was scrolling through TikTok in ad. I don't know if it was an ad or a did you know type thing. Put deodorant on a bug bite and it'll stop, stop itching for like two minutes or less. You know, I heard that somewhere. Well, you know, I feel like I have tried everything in the human history of histories of bug bites and it just I'm very allergic to them. I did. I did hear that somewhere. I did. I did. Any, I did. I did. I any, did tall putty tag. Anywho. So you can make like 150000 doing cranberry picking where mainly they just flood the field of cranberries and then you walk around with like waders on and like push cranberries different places. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, man, I think I would do that. And then they're like, and the downside is the wolf spiders. So you like... They don't use pesticides wherever this was. They use like spiders to help with bugs or whatnot. I, I think that's the, the coolest part of the story is the so fact that you, they don't use pesticides. So when you flood the fields, the spiders are like, water, no. I don't know why I sounded like that. And then they crawl on you while you're like cranberry picking and you get bit by wolf spiders. And I was like, yeah. No do, do they say you get bit by them? Yeah. Oh. I wonder how, how bad those wolf spider bites. I wonder what they do. Absolutely not. My luck, I'd get like a bunch down my waders and then I'd just be screaming. I just, but I, apparently, I wonder in, how allergic kind of reactions you'd get. In the interview, the first question is, how do you feel about spiders? And everyone lies. Oh, because they don't know that they're going to be waiting in spiders? I mean, I didn't know that there were spiders in cranberry fields. You got $10 from Ken Buckner. Ken is trying pew, to pew, throw pew. me off my game. Ken Faulkner with the 10 doll hairs. He says 10 doll hairs for anti ultim crew. <laughs> Ken, thank you for the 10 <laughs> doll hairs. Jake Anderson says, cover yourself with Vaseline and the spiders will slide right off. Oh, yeah, that's an idea. Oh, I just don't do spiders. Why not? They're gross. I mean, spiders are cool, but I don't know that I want them crawling all over me. Spiders are cool at a distance behind plexiglass that's like 12 feet deep, so I don't have to do anything. Although there is a lady I follow on Instagram yeah, or TikTok. She has jumping spiders. What? They're kind of cute. 
I don't like jumping spiders because obviously they jump. But hers are cute. She's got like little terrariums and like she talks to them and they like crawl on her hand. I don't know. It's just cute. Oh, yeah. The jumping spiders are cute. Like, yeah, yeah. They, didn't she put voices with them or something? Yes, that lady. Yes. Those are cute. But I would never own them. I would never. No, no. I would never touch them. I would never. Nope. My worst thing is when you're in the shower and you look up and there's a spider right there. Oh, yeah. And you're like, you know what? I stay here. You stay there. I'm naked. You're not. Let's let's not. Uh, Robert Vance says, Bees Blades. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Bees. Hello, Robert Vance. We got wild tarantulas in my area? Absolutely not. Uh, Tony says, man, this is a popular chat. The ones I normally join are sub 100. What you got right now? 233. <laughs> An assuming dude says, pro tip, cover yourselves in scorpions and spiders will leave you alone. <laughs> 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 Absolutely not. Uh, let's see. The, I wonder, I bet scorpions would eat wolf spiders. Probably. Joe Casper said, tarantulas, no way. I'd be walking around with a shotgun. <laughs> You could probably get by with a 410 if it, if you're uh, dealing with tarantulas. I just where like 410 where would probably be all you need. That's like tarantula city. Cuz like, Arizona where has, there's a lot of tarantulas? Yeah. Cuz uh, I feel like Arizona is known for their scorpions. Like is anywhere known for like their tarantulas? My nose is drippy. Yeah, where I know I mean I I know they're in the Amazon rainforest. Absolutely not. Hey, you're if you're if you've been in here and you haven't hit the thumbs up button, you are what is keeping a big giveaway from going on. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, is this giveaway something to behold. What lies in this box is very, very, it still very sounds nice. like a puppy. And you need to make sure be the person your dog thinks you are. My dog thinks I'm a skin suit, so bees. If we die, we're taking you with us. Arizona has mega tarantulas and scorpions. God, why would anyone choose mega tarantulas? Why would anyone choose to live there knowing that? What are what's in uh, Australia? Is that the huntsman spider? Uh, they've they've That's got like those giant ginormous. Spiders. I saw a video of a lady sitting in her car. She couldn't get out because there was one in her door handle to like open to get out. So she crawled over, <laughs> got out, walked around. Opened her door and was like, all right, sir, get out. And just flicked it with a stick. And I'm like, who is that calm? Absolutely not. Blade Walker said, we have wolf spiders. They look violent, but are, are not deadly. Yeah, we have wolf spiders here. <laughs> Blade Walker said, my sister lives in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> BFB Gunner said, said, we have wolf spiders, tarantulas, scorpions, fire ants in Texas. Dwayne K says, what are those spiders in the jungle that are about the size of dinner plates? Ugh. Probably tarantulas. And Joe says, funnel web spiders, bird eating spiders. Ooh. Oh yeah, bird eating spiders. Goliath bird eating spiders? No. If a spider is big enough to eat a bird. This is no. the Migurad Moyarl. I haven't got this one out and showed it tonight. Well, you're doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. For for I think they're forty nine dollars or fifty bucks or something. This is a, this is a really really good knife. Orb spiders. Derek gave you four dollar hair. Five dollar. Derek for real with the five dollar hair. Super chat. Said hi, Mr. And Mrs. Bees. This is Noah. Me and Dad are in the basement watching you, and I want to send you some money for the honey. Well, hello. Dude, thank you very much, Noah. I really appreciate it. I get I just liked your chat, man. Thank you very much, man. Did you did you see me? Uh did you get did you see? Did you see? <laughs> did you see? Did you see me uh solve the uh, Rubik's down. Cube? I'm still very I'll be excited about being able to solve the Rubik's Cube next year. This one's gonna stick with me. I'm just gonna like start carrying it. It'll be my EDC Rubik's Cube. I'll get you a travel one. Oh, yeah. They do have little miniature Rubik's Cubes. Somebody who wasn't in here last week said they were going to send me one that was way smoother than that one. Mm, 
Was that in here? Or was that you and your brother talking about it at breakfast? No, it was someone in here. They were like, oh, no, they make much better ones than that one. And I thought I had Mr. Fancy Pants because this is the speed one. What? What I am terrified of is a big banana spiders. They freak me out. Those pokey looking legs. OMG, I would faint if one was on me. And they get massive here in Florida. Absolutely not. I don't do spiders. Check, check out coconut crabs. Coconut crabs? Are those edible? Uh, Malcolm Holt said, I'm dealing with a brown recluse bite right now. Got bit three weeks ago on my back and have a silver dollar open wound on my back. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yikes. Lou said, Mr. Bees, are you going to, to move up to 4x4 four four Rubik's? 4x4? Four four four? Four, this. That's a oh, I guess there's a 4x4. Four four. I, I don't know. I, this I'm, is a 4x4. Four four. Let me get the. I mean, I've managed to do this while kind of talking and listening at the same time. So maybe after I've had this for a while, I can move up to a different one. But Mainly I'm... what he, he's saying is he can do that and talk, but he doesn't really listen. No, I listen. <laughs> I just I just can't reply because I, I can only do three things at once. You're lucky if you can do two things at once. Bogey, chogey. Uh, EDC and Lay said the most knife one can buy right now for 50 bucks is the Bird Raven 2. CTS BD1N and Spider Code Geometry for 50 bucks. Crazy good knife at that price. Howard K said, good German restaurant in Atlanta is Der Biergarten, 300 Marietta Street, Northwest Atlanta, as good as the German restaurant in downtown Milwaukee. Huh. Uh, Jacob Church just brought up a very good point. He what said, does the world need a titanium Rubik's Cube? Wouldn't that be heavy to carry around? What? A titanium Rubik's Cube. Man, oh man, oh man. Why do I feel like I'm sh there's one out there? Huh. Uh, it wouldn't surprise coconut me. Coconut crabs are not edible. This it wouldn't surprise me if there was a uh, titanium Rubik's Cube, like for collectors. Did you say I had to have everyone? I have a link to to this uh, this speed Rubik's Cube in the description, by the way, if you want to give it a try and learn how. Uh, Blade Walker said, I don't like BD1 in, but some do. Titanium cube on bearings? Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. Uh, let's see. Oh my, oh, it's snorty. No, puppy. It's a baby bogey. It's a baby bogey. Let's so get, get his butt up. Oh, puppy. Why did I grunt? You're the one who picked him up. I know. Hi, mister. It was a sympathy grunt. Baby bogey. Oh, he looks sleepy. He does have sleepy eyes. He has sleepy eyes. Yeah, he was napping. Sleepy boogie. Look at all this skin. Oh, Ooh, he nakey. He nakey. Uh oh, you nakey puppy. Peace River Ghost said, "So much to talk about spiders. You need to send me an assortment of spider co knives." Spider co. <laughs> Look at this spider sleepy co. eyes. He got sleepy eyes. He feels like he's about to fall over. Puppy. He's jamming his face in my face. <laughs> Lou said sympathy grunt. Baby bogey. They could snap your leg in half, though. Super strong. Who can snap your leg in half? A crab? Yeah. What? Snakes and ticks in Mississippi. He's such a good boy. Bogey has his own emoji, too. Oh, he got it. He's such a good puppy. If you haven't watched Blue Gabe, trust me, watch him. You will like them even better than DMFD. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, got what, it. You, what is it? My hair tie. Oh. oh don't have him look down. It's killing me. I, oh. I'm not trying. He's doing it on his own. He's so heavy. Dead weight. Your nose is running. The Punisher said, Sam, uh, I can't read it. I can't see now. I have dog in my vision. Uh, Sam, which is why I'm not getting anywhere near those gigantic crabs. Oh, Mrs. Bees, we need to come up with a... Uh, hashtag? Hashtag. Your ears are crinkly. Crinkle ears. 
Uh, BFV Gunner said bees. Rubik Revolution 3x3x3 three by three by three cube titanium edition 2008 electronic game. Bogey is so precious. My grand dog lost her battle with breast cancer today. Oh. Aww. Hello. Your face is very... Dog one said, yay, dog fella. Hiya, dog. I'm dog. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet thee. EDC and Lay said, first time I've ever seen Steve-O totally flip out from pain. Got my snoot. Oh, yeah. I'm Googling. Oh, yeah. I, I uh, got my taxes done today. I owe a considerable amount. <laughs> Lou said, crabs would eat us in a second, so I don't feel bad about going to Red Lobster. I love crab legs. What are you looking at, puppy? He's watching me try to get the dog hair off my pant leg. Okay, Bubby. You gotta get down. Oh, sorry. So did anybody get any new knives this week? Tell us if you got a new knife or if you have one on the way. If there's one that you're wanting to get, one that you're eyeballing. What are what are some good new knives that are coming out this spring that just came out? Um, all the knives on the table are new, <laughs> are new releases. These all just came out. These right here. This is, well, get this out. These are all new releases. This is the new Javelot from Olight. This is the O-Tackle T1. It is a uh, a butterfly pry bar. It is really cool. I, I like it. I'm digging it. It's very fidgety. And then this is the this this isn't new. It's newer. This is the Arcfeld Pro. This is new to me. And then this is the new Roboto 4 S35 VN blade steel, Altum scales, crossbar lock. And this is the new Vexillum by Civivi. This thing is a big knife. It it is fun. I like it. it has Nitro V blade steel. I really do like it. I like it's it has a good size to it. And then this is the new Civivi Quai Q. Small flipper knife and it has a uh, Tonto blade. This is also also Nitro V blade steel. This is black stone wash. And then here is the new We Banter Warncliffe. Look at that stone wash blade. This one's purple. BEDC said I actually won the Roboto 4 from O Knife. Really? Dog One said budget Miguron pad, great knife. Um, speaking of Miguron, this one right here, this is the Miguron uh, Moyarl crossbar lock. This is an absolute win. This is, I mean, an absolute winner knife. This is an everyday carry. I mean, if you like uh, knives, lightweight knives like the raccoon, stuff like that, the Moyarl. Wow. It has such good action. It's super lightweight. Major Powell said, what's your number one favorite knife of 2024 so far? Any price point? <sighs> boy, oh boy. I'd have to look at a list of what knives have came out in 2024. And I would only go on off ones that I've actually handled. But, oh my gosh, I don't even know, man. Like I wish I had all my knives laying out in front of me right now. You'd have to name some for me to to narrow it down. Ooh. I think the Wii Equivoc that might have came out last year cuz that's one of that's one of my faves. Uh BFV Gunner said you know that we've got it at home meme. I found the knife maker version of that meme for Miguron. Uh Andy said how does the Civivi Vexillum compare to the Vosti Gator? Uh the Vosti Gator is larger. Uh you know what? I'm going to I'm going to go get it. That's a that's a great size comparison and that's something that we can do on the live stream is size comparisons. Cuz this is the perfect time for that kind of thing. And I almost forget about it about asking about that kind of thing. Well, I, f I forgot about the Gator. I haven't carried it in a while. I'm coming that way, puppy. He's you like, "Where do I go?" Mm 
I know you want to be involved. I should let him help. Just a second, folks. I'm initializing my uh, video engine so I can zoom. I haven't even had it have it pulled up. So let's see. Where's the Vixillum? And I'm looking for a bag. I wonder why you're being so quiet over there. Camera hub won't pull up. So there, there you go. There is the Vostid Gator. And there is the Vexillum. The, they're pretty darn close. Put it in a pivot to pivot. I would say they're, the Vexillum, they're, they're almost uh, completely equal uh, lengthwise. I don't know that there's much of a difference, if at all. Let me see. If I put this on the same line, put this on the same line at the same spot. Um... I, they're exactly the same length. Uh, 242 likes. Remember to smash that thumbs up, people. You know that's what makes giveaways happen. Uh, you should have happen. you should a video of your top ten knives for your collection. Yeah, um, that that would be too difficult to do. I I don't know how in the world I could do. It would be very time consuming to figure out because the second I figured out I liked one, I would get another one out and be like, oh, no, I like that one better. Oh, no, I like that one better. No, I don't like that one better. That would be so difficult to do. Dog once said, I had one in my cart, then decided to buy five different knives and a baby back ribs instead. And I had chains. Stinger or slinger is pricey. I give you two options. No, I tried to pull up camera hub and it won't let me sell. So. That's weird. I was going to go grab something from upstairs, but I forget. All right. For this, this, uh, for this giveaway, it's going to be international. I'll pay up to $20 for shipping. Anything over that I'll need you to kick in and pay the rest uh, you got to be 18 or over or have your parent or guardian's permission to win what's in this big time special giveaway now i'm going to do the giveaway it, we have to at least hit 250 likes what are we at right now this will not initialize my video engine um i think we're pretty yeah uh, we hit 251 there we go EDC and Lace said, I got a really special piece a couple days ago. A Cold Steel XHP Hollow Ground American Lawman. Brand spanking new. That was my Grail Cold Steel. What was the top one with the cool blade? The top knife. This is the Vosti Gator. Uh, Bees, what's your favorite knife and why is it the Nightshade? <laughs> uh, the Nightshade is just an all-around perfect perfect knife it's hard to beat it's definitely one of my favorite knives to see you guys you guys have to remind me because there's there's so many good knives out there saying what a favorite one is 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 pretty much impossible because there's so many good ones but that is the vosti gator it is, a, it is a big one it has frag handle frag scales micarta Frag my cart up, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Chef Rocky with the twenty dollar hair super chat. <laughs> Chef Rocky coming in hot with the twenty dollar hairs. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. All right, so you, Mrs. B's just came up with a couple uh, hashtags. The camera hub won't pull up. Oh well. Thank you very much, Chef Rocky. She said. He said. Shipping. Love you both so much. Let me put these uh, back out here. Ooh, makes my eyes what are you go. doing, Mrs. Bees? I'm inspecting my room. I need your help. Why? Because I can't do two things if it gets quiet. I, it throws my concentration off. Do we have any internationals in here tonight? We have internationals in here every night. 
Uh, Terry says the nightshade's a really great knife because of these. I now own three of them. There you go. Terry, Terry knows. Hey, hey. All right, let me uh, get this hashtag going. Hey. Ask him a question, Mrs. Bees. Um, does everybody socks match? Oh, is anybody snacking on anything? <gasps> Australia here. We have Australia in the hive. Who's that? Anthony. What's up, Anthony? I know we had the UK in here. Uh, we had a new country in here tonight. I can't remember where it is already. Coasty cheese is eating sardines. Oh, I love sardines. I do not like sardines. Pork Sar rinds. Sardines are really good. Which ones you go with? Good option. Is Bangkok here? Oh, yeah. Usually we have Thailand in the house. Philippines. We got the Philippines going. Seaweed. We have seaweed in the hive. What? What? Seaweed in the hive. Yeah, that's what they're eating. Someone's looking very suspicious right now. Canada. Why? We have Canada in the hive. Who's suspicious? Uh, the puppy. Oh. Was looking suspicious. He was are peering you, over a box. Like, are, are you watching? suspicious? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I mean, the glove that was bikini bottoms here. <laughs> <laughs> Smoked octopus legs. Hmm. Thank you very much, Chef Rocky. Tennessee here feels like another country. Maybe it's just the music. Now. I don't know why my screen looks different. Um, usually I can pull up El, the Elgato cam. They have knives falling all over the place here. Eating Salt. a fruit bar from Trader Joe's and putting ice on my foot. I read that and I'm like, hey, Vicky's also probably doing that. It was Vicky who said it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. I'll be back in two shapes. Brian, Brian F. said, coming to you from the mitten. Go blue. Ooh. BDC and Lace said, fresh sardines and canned sardines. Aren't the same thing. Right. I'd, li I'd like to try fresh sardines. Resembling a honeycomb in structure. In structure. So, this giveaway is very, very special. Look at this box. Protect pollinators. Look at that. It's an Ohio sticker with bees on it. Ohio By the way, in case you didn't know, Ohio is the heart of it all. Just saying. Ohio, the heart of it all. Home of the United States Air Force Museum. Experience prestigious at peanut butter jelly time. Or he said peanut butter and jelly toasted toasted with hot chocolate. Man, that sounds good. Now, see, I love hearing people's uh, snack checks. That's what all, when Mrs. B's comes back. Oh, by the way, only enter one time. Do not enter more than once. And take your time. Don't spam the chat. Okay, you don't need to, the chat being spammed, or you know the you know the drill. If you're used if you're used to the bees hive, please ignore the following message. Only enter once. Don't enter more than once, and don't hurry. There's no rush. It's going to be 15 minutes before we do the giveaway. It just takes that long. It's just the way it works. This is a heavy box, and wait till you see what is in this heavy box. Oh my goodness, it is. Uh, I'm kind of jealous of whoever gets this because I don't have I don't have one that's in here. Ohio in Japanese means good morning. Ohio blueberry vanilla nut and fruit cluster. Ohio has most serial killers. <laughs> Jim Miller said that I ate a kind bar and drinking a diet Dr. Pepper. Ooh, I like some Dr. Pepper. Mini Ritz crackers, cheese sandwiches. Oh man, I'm I'm feeling a snack coming on. We ate we ate our pizza early tonight. So I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling snacky, snacky, snacky. Oh man. I got bogey slobber all over me. Nine millimeter. Mike said, Ohio has the most registered motorcycles per capita in the U S isn't Ohio where they replace all the farms with shopping malls. Uh, I'm me. You misspelled the entry word. 
Ginger Fisher said very northwest Ohio, a.k.a. Fortville, Indiana. EDC and Lace said, Jeff, that's Florida. BK said, I'll take at least 15 minutes and at least 15 minutes. It'll take 15 minutes and at least 15 minutes. Check it out. Oh, now this is very cool. Look at this. Look at this. It's a Hank and it's titanium. It's a titanium Hank. It's a titanium. That is very, very cool. Uh, Ohio also has the most presidents. But there you go, a titanium Hank. Look at, that. Look at that. We were talking about titanium Rubik's cubes. Now, we, now someone's going to win. What? Is, what is? Oh my gosh. What? Oh, nothing. I thought something was messed up. So a titanium hat, hat, hap, Hank. Oh, sorry, it just kicked the puppy in the head. He brought you a glove. Oh, thank you. Thank you. He brought me the work glove. Thank you, mister. The other one's upstairs. Fabby form, a honeycomb-like structure. Without a Korean treat, the giveaway box seems incomplete, Lou said. Okay, next in here is something very cool. An Extra large Verzio Freedom Coin. It's patinaed and sealed, and it has some weight to it. I mean, this thing weighs weighs like a half a pound. It's a patinaed Freedom Coin. Look at this. Check that out. Uh, oh, I dropped it. What Kim posted, yeah. "Who makes that Hank? This Hank is made by Hell of a Hanks." Hell of a Hanks. Um, kind of like the chip dick. Hell, hell of a good. Hell of a good. Chip dip. Uh, let's see. Where's that? Here is the pre patinaed and sealed Freedom Coin. Check this out. I was looking for my sweatshirt and then I remembered I took it upstairs. It's this two ounces. Golden State Mint. Look at that. Get in here for a little texture vision. Texture. That is very cool. Very, very cool. Anthony Rollins said, nicely struck coin. Me likey. All right, let me put it back in the little sleeve thing here. To the moon, Alice. Uh, VCR finds that interesting. Ohio has the most presidents, but I looked them up and they were all not great. <laughs> I don't think any state's going to have all presidents that were great. I don't think that's going to happen. But we don't, I don't want to stray into a politic. Um, extra large goodness. You got that right. James Gardner said, bees, I see your beard is turning titanium. <laughs> you said more and more each week. Welcome to my world, sir. I do like that, Hank. Yes, uh, I do. I have a titanium beard. My beard is extra fluffy because I didn't put any, uh, uh, what do you call that stuff? I didn't put any beard bomb on it today, just beard oil. So I am due for a trim. It's time to take off just about that space. much. Yeah, it's about time to take off two inches. I'm I'm getting a little extra. Look how long it is. Getting a little extra fluffy. All right, let's see what else we got in this box here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So we have a through night Thai Pro. If you all saw my uh, my Amazon video recently, um, it has a Thai Pro in it. Thai Pro. Yeah, this this is a very cool flashlight. Let me see. I think I have I have one up here. Do, do, do. Yes. This is a very cool flashlight. This is the through night tie pro that we were all talking about. Is that the uh, one I was playing with last week? I think it might be. Who brand new one of these in the box still. But this is the one we were all ranting and raving about. It's such a good EDC size flashlight. Super bright. Has three brightnesses. Gosh, the amount of light you get out of this thing is crazy. Uh, this little flashlight. What are you eating? And it, the battery is rechargeable also. It's a USB-C rechargeable. 
Do we have a Stas the patch in this week's giveaway? Uh, I think I don't think I have any more Stas. Where is Stasa? He usually stopped by the live stream. He hasn't been here in a couple weeks. He was here last week, the week before. Was he? Was it last week? Yeah, there you go. So we have a Bogart approved rock with magnet. So let's see what this is all about. No politics. Pretty please with KPL on top. Cato Productions said, fun fact, the state and territory with the most number of In-N-Out burger locations is California with 275 restaurants, which is about 69% of all In-N-Out burger restaurants in the U.S. Huh. Oh, look at this. The, be the person your dog thinks you are. It is a rock. It's a, it's a magnet rock. I like that. Yeah. Mrs. B's wants one now. Be the person your dog thinks you are. What are you eating? That is the coolest thing I'm ever. I'm right at you, dude. Look at that. Jeff Bacon said, I feel so weird when I cut off my beard. Well, don't cut it off. Just trim it back. I'm getting ready to trim a couple of inches off of mine. I going to say yours has been real floofy lately. Yeah, it is, I, did, I didn't put beard bomb in it today. It is extra fluffity. Punisher said, I, I shave my beard but keep my goatee. The goatee helps hide my extra chins. You got a member for 10 months. Who is it? Richard Kaufman. Richard Kaufman's been a member for 10 months with the Super Chat. He said, nice night in the hive. What's up, Richard? Dude, you are only two months away from a solid here. One hole here. Um, top Dog, I'm, I'm going to open this knife up to show you all. And whoever wins, I don't think he's going to care. Uh, Cincy Dan said, my dog would probably eat that rock. We have a brand new Kubi right here, folks. Vicky said, I can keep the rock if she wins. So she better she, win. She, oh, I see. She's going to DSKFS it to you. Yep. Mrs. B's wants that magnet. I don't know why you just got excited. I'm just putting my tootsies on the table. So where do you all see this uh, this knife? What are they saying, Mrs. B's? I can't see. Um, Donald... Malikovich, Mal Mal yep, Milinkovic. Yep, has been a member for eleven months. Donald, says, happy St. Patty's Day! Happy St. Patty's Day, Donald! Eleven months, super chat. Join K says, Donald, congrats! Congratulations, Donald! You're almost at one solid here. Your mom has a fluffy beard. <laughs> Where are you going? What are you doing? I think people are going to be excited about this giveaway. What are you doing? And I am going to open your knife. Sorry, whoever wins this, but I am. I want to show this one. Somebody said they don't want you to open their knife. Well, too bad. <laughs> I, I, I'm opening it because I want you to see this knife that you, that someone is getting ready to win because you're gonna you're gonna. Go ape poop over this. Andy oh says, my goodness, how long, I want this one. <laughs> how long do we how do we see how long we've been a subscriber? Um the uh the members it the members the channel members it shows you how long. I'm not sure the subscriber time. I'm not sure if there's a way to see that. So this is the Kubi Tidiest. And look at this. Oh my gosh, the texture on it is amazing. Look at this. Wow. Tiger striped. This is titanium. I got to get me one of these bad hey, boys. What are you eating? Oh, wow. Get down Look here. Look at this. Whoo, mama. Paul Kesper said, you can open my knife. Uh, General Zod said, no gas station dragon knife? Michael Warren said, oh, never mind. I'm flipping that right now. Look at that. That is very, very cool. Uh, dog one said, ooh, Kubi cake. Uh, Funaz said, do people include the hashtag or not? Yes, it's hashtag favaform. This is a this is a tidious, just like this is another version, another titanium version. Like this one. David Tooley says, yes, Mrs. B's. Molly said you and Top Dog have to bring it with your swag tags. What? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. I was just reading a comment. 
that Molly said we need to up our game on our swag packs. Oh. Who? What? Put pour more uh, pocket, more junk in it. I mean, I can put more junk in it. We have actually. We have. I just that white bag right there has Molly junk in it. I told her <laughs> that we were, we were regifting her her <laughs> junk. She she thought that was amazing. Um. Donald said, "Congrats on who wins it." Look at this. Would this you look very, at that? Yeah. This is very, very cool. Just look at it's, it. It's kind of tiger striped, but it also has different colors in it. That is some cool looking titanium. I don't know that I've ever seen it quite look like this before. That is very, very cool. And the, this is the Kubi KU322, otherwise known as the Kubi Tidius. Someone's going to be very happy. Travis Kirk said, that's the exact version I've got, and it's level sick above the already sweet Tidius. Uh, EDC and Lace said, yep, because Kubi OEM them. Wow, this is a good one. Someone's going to be happy with this win. I might just Shanghai it. Robert Feely said, I, might get lost I in have shitty. it and I love it. Wow. Pow, right in the kisser. Pow, right in the kisser. It's like strata lines where you find fossils. So very cool giveaway box. Oh, yeah. And we also, uh, will you grab a uh, swag pack, Mrs. B's? They're right down there in that box. Do you need me to give it to you, like, right this second? Uh, it, okay. it wouldn't hurt. I mean, I was comfortable, but. You were comfortable. What box am I getting into? It's the swag packs. Oh, uh, here you go. If you just made me get up for no reason. Yeah. When you said, here you go, I thought you already had one over here. And I'm like, sir? Sir? Oh, he just, uh-oh. He's rip roaring, ready to go. Uh-oh. Did you just have it pointed at the ceiling? Oh, I just had the laser pointer on. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Doggy crap? I don't know what yeah, that it, is. Yeah, it's a dog stuff. What was he eating? I don't know. Gross. And with this dog giveaway. Dog With this dog. Be careful. The cook hates some people's. Politics. Yeah, we don't talk politics here. Thank you for playing the Bees Blades Kubi Tidiest Giveaway. Signed, Top Dog. Top Dog, Top Dog, Top Diggity Dog. Mr. Top Dog himself. Thank you very much, Top Dog, for being the most awesome Top Dog ever. Be the person your dog thinks you are. This is the Kubi Tidiest Giveaway. T-I-T-Y-U-S. Didn't spell that right, but you'll get it. Yep, I'll get it. Um, and then let me show you this, folks. What are they saying, Mrs. B's? Um, the last thing said is yes, sir, Mr. Dwayne K. Nice giveaway. <coughs> uh, Travis Kirk says, if this becomes my first one ever, please DSK of it. That tidiest, I'd want someone else to enjoy it as much as I do. Oh, well, that's very nice of you, Travis. Very nice of you. So there's a whole st sticker swag pack in here. Lots these of stickers. these stickers, knife, um, blade HQ stickers. Tim B's been a member for eleven months. Tim B with the eleven months super chat. He said, it was a long week, and Bees' voice was so soothing. I passed out for a bit there. Ha ha. Up in time for a giveaway. Oh, that worked out just right. Do you have any coupons for Kubis? Yes, I have a coupon. I have a coupon code for all Kubi D2 knives. It's in the description of this live stream. Um, look at this. Here's BEDC's Texas Blade Show sticker. And then here, oh, look at this. Uh, it's a It's a pizza Band-Aid. We got a pizza band aid going on, and what is this? Uh, Campfire Leatherworks. How about that? I think that that's Iggy's sticker. I haven't seen Iggy in a long time. There's a honeybee sticker. Keep a band aid handy. Some Kaiser stickers. There's a ceviche. Everybody wants a ceviche <laughs> knife, right? Yep. And then there's a CJRB. And then here's oh, look at this. Let's keep a band aid handy pin, and this pin. Um, it has protective coating, so when you get it, it looks all it looks a little rough. 
looks a little rough. It's because it has a protective coating. Just peel that coating off. Look at that. You got to keep a Band-Aid handy pin. I need a glow-in-the-dark alien. Delaney said, if I don't win it, I'm going to buy it. Yeah. Oh, yes. So here, you know, everyone should have a penguin, right? Well, let me do this. Everyone should have a glow-in-the-dark alien, right? You get a penguin because everybody should have a penguin. There's a penguin. My pants have a pick in them. Uh, oh. So let me show you what Mrs. B's contributed to this giveaway. All of it. I contributed Where do you see all this? of it. This is from Mrs. B's, a glow-in-the-dark alien. Yeah. Yeah. We light it up with some UV light for my new Arcfeld Pro. Yeah. Look at that. He's cute. It's a glow-in-the-dark alien. Trying to make shade here. Look at him. It's a little alien. The lollipops are good, and we don't get those ones here. I enjoyed them. Uh, yeah, whoever wins the... The, the Kubi Tidius, it is a guillotine. It, it will drop shut on your fingers, so be careful. Bogey boulder? Is there a bogey boulder in that? Uh, but, oh, yeah. Um, here we have Mrs. B's will probably sign this. Maybe, maybe not. And this this is a bo bogey, uh, a bogey, a bogey fetched rock. Got another one upstairs on the table. And we have a new one. We have another one for next week. Look here. It, ha it comes complete with bogey DNA. See the bogey <laughs> hair? It has bo dried bogey slobber. This is a certified. They said we need to, you know, knives will come with a certificate of authenticity. Yeah. We need to have a certificate of authenticity for his rocks. <laughs> like the we board, the that. like the discovered date or something like that. The date that he did it, that he found it. Like this, this uh, rock was cheeked on this day. Can't it, wait to win a covered. What does that say? Ziploc bag with puppy rock. I can't read a coveted Ziploc bag with puppy rock. Yes. I mean, the thing everyone's most excited about is the fact that this giveaway, we're not giving away one, we're giving away two Ziploc bags. Uh -oh. Two. Two bags. Two Ziploc bags with this giveaway. And there happens to be a Kubi Tidius and a bunch of stickers and swag and a penguin and an alien. Also, and we got some grandma candy, and we have some uh, we call these things suckers, suckers, sucker, sucker. What are they saying, Mrs. B's? I don't know. I was playing with a dog, a two bagger, a two bagger, even the bags have bags. Yeah, you get a bag in a bag. We'll get we'll uh, get Mrs. B's. To say something on the bogey bag. Better include some band aids with that knife. Uh, there is a there is a pizza band aid in here. Piece of pizza. Piece of pizza. All right. So there's. He's gone crazy giving away two Ziploc bags. Yeah, I know. I mean, high rolling over here. All right. Let's let's see. Do we have enough entries? Did everybody enter? Well, yeah, I need to write that word down in my. What tidiest book? Did anyone say what it meant? Uh, yeah, a honey, a, a honeycomb like structure. People, a couple people were saying that. And I'm like, well, what are they? What are they talking about? That has a honeycomb like structure? I don't understand. Oh yeah, we need to remember a uh, a sticky note. Those sticky notes really come in handy. Lou says I'm slacking tonight. Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way, Lou. Mrs. B's, is, it's two hours past her bedtime. It is, and I have a slight pressure behind my left eye. On this on this rock, on this day, Bogey munched on it. There you go. Munchy crunches. It's the shape you like the best, BK. I experienced procedure said, B's, if you don't have a metal detector, it may be a fun hobby, especially since Bogey is trying to tell you there's a golden treasure in your yard. <laughs> uh, um, I kid you not. Um, Mrs. B's, will, will you talk to them just for a minute? I have to go grab something to show them, 
show you guys. I guess. Yeah, this is this is crazy. Wait a minute. Um, oh no, I knocked that over. All right, folks, I'm gonna go grab something. I'll be right back. I'm gonna slide over. Is that got a bug on it? Oh, no. That box has a stink bug on it. You gonna come out and sit in this chair? Boop boop boop. Hi, this is my face again. Tired face. Yes, I've been going to bed at 10 o'clock like I'm an old person because I feel like I need sleep. I used to go to bed at like 12 and then get up at like 5.30. I wasn't working, so I started to go to bed at 11. And I'm like, you know what? This is a little better. And then I realized, I'm like, you know what? I need to go to bed at 10. I bet he has a metal detector. We do not, unless he's been hiding oh. it from me. <laughs> Grim Drake said behind the eye is a cluster. Where yeah, it's like world? real sharp behind my left eye. <laughs> You're fine, Lou. I'm sorry, Mrs. Bees. I'll go stand in the corner and think about how I can improve myself. Nobody puts Lou in the corner. I need a glow-in-the-dark alien. I need to order some more. Mrs. B's knife of the day. I actually did not carry a knife today. Uh, but I've been carrying my um, drop bear all week. Excuse me. I was yawning. Sorry. So it's past my bedtime. Yes. I stay up late on Fridays. But honestly, when I leave... Sometimes I leave early and go upstairs. I am, I'm kaput. I am asleep on the couch or bed before he even signs off and says goodnight to you guys. That is how ridiculous it is. Just in time for giveaway. Yes. Yes, you are, Tyler. Um, do you have the same expensive chair? No, my chair is a little different. I don't, I'm, it's closer. Leaning. Hold on. There it is. Mine's a little different. Somewhere. It's a little smaller, but it's still a gaming chair. It's very comfortable. His is a little wider, which is nice. But cheapers. There's a good channel on YouTube where a guy Hello, goes around and metal detects old farm in the woods and such. I can't remember the name. Very interesting. I think my mom would be a metal detector lady. I'm going to show him a couple of the things he carries around. Oh, okay. I'm like, why are we carrying this in the house? He is very excited right now. <clears throat> hold on. Will you hold him for a second? Oh. I'm trying. <laughs> so this is this Sit. is one thing he carries Sit. around. This is Sit. his little stick. Stay. So here's his little stick. We'll give it to him here in just a second. Stay. It is so cute to see him carrying this mini log around. He's so excited. So this is his idea of a little stick to carry around. You can see it is not a little stick. Ooh. Sit. This isn't the thing I was searching for. He's not. All right. You, you, here, you have this. Sorry. Face with that. Okay. You carry that. Okay. But this, that's not the impressive thing. The impressive thing is the rock that he dug up. And was carrying and had out. He has this special spot in the front yard where he hangs out. It's where he takes his little treasures and takes his little rocks and stuff. This is an idea of how tenacious Bogart is. This weighs, I would say, probably around eight, seven pounds. Here's an example. This is a bogey rock right here. This dude, it's not, it was covered in mud, but the rain washed it pretty clean. He dug this up and had this, this out in his spot. Does not surprise me. Yeah, this uh, probably weighs five pounds. This is the biggest rogi, bogey rock to date. Rogi rock? It's a rogi rock. Look at that. It's the surface of the moon. Look at that. That That is no joke. This this has to weigh five pounds. Easy. It's, it's a big rock. This was covered in mud where he dug it up and had it out with all of his little treats in the front yard. Mm. How much for that rock? What just the shipping on this rock alone? Maybe we'll make this in one of the really big giveaways or something because the shipping is going to be crazy. 
I'll I'll have to think about that because it's it's going to cost twenty five dollars. Just unassuming dude says the rock will be given away at a fifty k sub. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so there there's the biggest bogey rock. This one could literally be signed. Shipping will be problematic. Yeah, it is. It's like shot. It's almost shot put weight. So there's a bogey rock, and that's the bogey stick. Top dog said you can't take the dog's favorite rock, dude. I don't want him chewing on that thing. I don't. I don't want his teeth to be nubs yet. Blue says that rock will be given away when bees reaches fifty subs. Gonna need a bigger Ziploc bag for that. Oh yeah. Well, we have Ziploc bags that will fit in. That'll It'd be, be a, like a gallon bag. Yeah, here. that'll fit in a gallon bag. They, I, ha I still have some three gallon Ziploc bags from Top Dog. Dwayne Case said, well, he's a pup. Still doesn't know it's not good to chew on rocks. Yeah, my my parents' dog, when she was still alive, she would chew on big rocks like that and cement blocks and bricks, anything she could find in the backyard. And by the time she was, mm, I'd say eight, she had no teeth. They, they were, were just they were rounded. They were all nubbins. Experience Precision said there's probably 10 ounces of gold in it. He's happy. He got his big, yeah. He he doesn't just carry on little little twigs. He literally will pick up a he he has like shoulder muscles like a white tailed deer to be able to carry <laughs> stuff like that around. Bees, when you started doing YouTube, did you ever think you'd get to the point where people would want your rocks? <laughs> <laughs> They're not mine. They're my dogs. Bees, uh, Bogart, the crystal finder. Bogey likes big rocks, and he cannot lie. Form. Colin, make sure you put a uh, hashtag in front of it. Yeah, so I, I just uh, I thought that'd be fun to share. This. You just don't know what to do, do you? I came home and, and you look over. It's it's really cool. He just picked, picked this random spot out in the front yard, uh, a couple feet from the driveway, about halfway from the street to the house. And there'd just be random things there. Or when I'm outside doing stuff outside. He'll sneak and get something from the garage, like a piece of plastic or something. And I'll, and I'll see him out there and I'll hear a crunch. And I'm like, what's he doing? And he'll sneak something to his little, little place where he puts his little souvenirs. And by the way, in his souvenir spot is a rock we can put in the giveaway. I saw it. I, I left it there so it can get weathered more. It's about that big. Stonewash some helicopter blades with that rock. Everyone do the bo bogey boogie. Bogey boogie. You just don't come into the world knowing some life lessons. Have trouble okay. keeping my eyes and ears open. All right. So, hi, Blade. You're set to go, Poppy. It's like he doesn't know what to do. He's like, Dad brought a stick in the house. We're not allowed to have sticks in the house. Oh, yeah, I did. Then I broke the rules. He's like, Dad, I'm not sure what you do. There's a rock and a stick in the house. Um, Faviform. No, Colin got it right. Faviform. Bogey is what clinched me, my sub. Glad it was mended. Great live. Bogey is a hoarder dog. Mm. Eh, he, he's a collector. Derek Poppenhagen said, I wonder if there is minerals he likes in the rocks. Could be. All right, let's see who wins this giveaway. The bogey won't let me. Won't let me do it. Y'all ready to see who won? Mm-hmm. Collins, nuttier than a squirrel turd. Okay. He's a hoarder collie. Ha! <laughs> be yours and top dog. Thank your surprise shod be on its way over to you. Ah, I, I understood what that mean. It, even if you guys didn't. All right, let's see who's going to win all these fabulous prizes. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Are you set? Mm-hmm. I'll get to it eventually. And go. Winning. Who's going to be? Who's going to be the winner? The winner is Kristen Noble. <laughs> Kristen Noble, congratulations. How winner, about that? The winner. Somebody is freaking out right now. They're like, what? 
Kristen, are you in the chat? Say something. I know you're here because you had to put the hashtag in. Let's just verify that Kristen is like, oh, seriously? Are you serious right now? Where are you at, Kristen? She said, I'm here. Thank you. You're very welcome. Kristen, take a screenshot of your YouTube sign-in page, like where you sign in so I know it's you, and then send an email to beesblades at gmail.com. Do it tonight after the high stream. Send an email with your mailing information, and we'll get it sent out in two to four weeks. Hmm. And here's the thing is make sure you put Kristen Noble, even if that's not your real name, name some people it is some people it isn't make sure that is in the email so it's easily searchable so screenshot of your youtube sign in page your mailing info that's all i gotta do congratulations you're now the proud owner owner of two ziploc bags yeah yeah all right mrs b you got any uh words of wisdom before you fall asleep i just got real tired Uh, I hope everyone had a great week. I hope uh, everyone has a good weekend. Uh, what I always like to say is my favorite purchase, which is in your shopping cart. I only have one thing, and it's dry shampoo. Which dry, I, dry shampoo. I've been debating on getting for the last three days. Um, have a great weekend. Do something fun. Buy something fun. Have a great week. We'll see you. That is so close to my face, I feel like. No, it's not. I hope everyone has a good week, and I will see you next week, Friday. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll see you next Friday. I was going to say, no, I won't, but it's the Friday after that. I might not. Good night, y'all. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I was out. I was upstairs. I was looking for this rock, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was like, well, I'll, I'll bring you a stick. And then I remembered I threw the rock further away. Threw it over in the corner. Throw it away, throw it away, throw it away. Throw it away now. Is everybody having a good week? Is everybody having fun? Um, Blade Walker said, good night, all. Stay golden. Uh, he's probably going to hang out here for a minute. The, tonight was a lot of fun. It's always fun. The, the, the live streams go so fast. It's crazy how fast... Oh my gosh, the dog goes upstairs like a herd of hungry hippos. My goodness. He is, he is, <laughs> he's so cool. <laughs> Hello, testing, testing, one, two, three. Put my, put her mic up in her uh, mic stand here. Our, our fancy uh, DJI mics. This is the mic, mics that we use. What's up, Tyler Brown? He said, howdy, bees. First time here. Tyler, dude, you just missed our big giveaway, man. Um, F Dog said, how do I see if I'm still a member? Um, if you are a member, then you will have a B next to your name in the chat. Um, that, that not the same as subscriber. That's two different things. Um, Gareth said, I can tell you Saturday is looking good and you can look forward to it. Oh, yeah. Gareth is in the future. He's in South Africa. Howard K said, good night, everyone. Be safe and healthy and God bless America. Oh, man, my my luck, Tyler said. Dude, Tyler, we've been on for uh, three, over three and a half hours, man. I, I hate to I hate to close down the live stream with a, uh, you just getting here, man. Uh, Todd Carr said, bees, what's bogey way now? Bogey, uh, oh, hey, hold on. Just, hey, Tyler, check it out. This is Bogart. He always, He's always a part of the live stream. Um, he's been in the live stream every week of his life since he was eight weeks old. And now he's a big guy. He's a big boy. And Bogart collects rocks and we, we, we add a Bogart rock to every giveaway. Well, not every way it giveaway, but at least one a week. And we, he's wanting his, he's wanting his rock right now. Um, I just brought up a five, I brought down a five pound rock that he dug up. Of course, that's these are just the added extra fun things that we do in the, the live streams. We talk about knives and all that, but it's also a whole knife family thing we got going on. He's such a good, happy puppy. Yes, you are. He's such a good, happy boy. 
Dwayne Case had another uh, awesome stream, everyone. Thanks, Bees, Mrs. Bees, and Knife Family. Oh, my gosh. I'm covered in fur. So I have uh, – don't forget, if you haven't watched it, to watch the, the video that posted today. I have some really cool knives coming up that are going to post this week. I'm posting knives – I'm posting knives this weekend. Um, tomorrow night is family game night uh, with Mrs. B's side of the family. We're going to play, uh, I think we're going to play hand and foot and dominoes. It's a dominoes game that has, has like 16 dots on, on each side. It, it's, it's really fun. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, it's called turkey foot. We're going to play turkey foot and hand and foot. <laughs> hand and mouth. Hand and foot. Sounds like something you go to the doctor for, but it, it's really fun. Um, anyone know a good aftermarket clip for a Kaiser hiccup? Jake Anderson wants to know. But everyone, thanks for hanging out with this. I really appreciate everyone that uh, donated some doll hairs and everyone that donated Beast Blades memberships. We're, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get around to it maybe this week. Oh, I am going to do I'm gonna make a video on some chef knives that I got in that look very very nice and they come in very nice packaging. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do some chefs nights. I gotta go get some more produce. Sunday night, sa Saturday, and or Sunday night is when I usually re up on my fresh fruits and veggies. So that'll be perfect timing when I'm meal prepping for the week to uh, check out these new chef knives. Um, there's, there's a paring knife. There's uh, uh, there's two three. It's two three maybe four knives in this in this set. It's not a set. It's two different sets, if you will. But that's gonna be pretty cool. So how much does he weigh? I, I I'm gonna have to weigh him. I I'm I suspect he's probably close to 80 pounds now. When we brought him home, he weighed 12. When he was eight weeks old, he weighed 12 pounds. Now he's 11 months old, and he weighs uh, he's got to weigh a good 80. He is hefty. Oh yeah, and uh, go and check out Ken Faulkner's channel. Um, he, I, I won't give it away, but you'll want to see what he has been, what he, he may have actually have narrowed down. I haven't seen the notification, but he's been narrowing down something down. It may have already happened. Um, only live stream I watch my new fam. I appreciate that. Dion Brooks every Friday night. All right. Love you all to pieces. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. Um, Buy what's in your shopping cart. That's, that's what Mrs. B says. I agree. I'm going to go upstairs, and even though it is midnight, I kind of want a little snacky snack. Maybe a bowl of cereal. Maybe. Or a piece of pizza or something. I don't know. But I love you all to pieces. Remember, live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy. And don't cut yourself.